hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Happy freaking Saturday. Hope all is well. Oof, I got it. Chills for a second. It's getting cold. I have like goosebumps. I don't know why. But happy Saturday. Hi. Bruh. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Hey, baby. Baby, unique. Hey Patty Love, hey Spread Love, I love that name, Spread Love, mm -hmm. everyone's coming, hey guys, you already know the vibes, get the live to 250k, we're raising the bar guys, yesterday's price is today's price 250,000 likes i know you can do it like it up we're about to get guests on okay but we're it's up to you it's up to you and y'all late <laughs> about a time are we early Cider. My bottom is this from Zara. Very old collection. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You look good tonight. Yeah. <laughs> But you already know the vibes, 250,000 likes, 250,000 K. Now what about the shares, Olivia? 1K shares. You guys have done it before, and I know we can do it again, all right? So if you want to bring a guest on, I mean, hey, we can sit all here all day and look at each other. Or we can get a guest on and get the show rolling. So, 250k likes is the price to get a guest on, okay? And a thousand K shares. We are in SD. I wanna join. Is the Padres playing tonight? Yes, the Padres are playing tonight. You should have saw it. A first home run was hit and we were looking right at it. We were looking right at it. I don't know about, much about baseball, but uh, I know what a home run is, so. It's pretty dang cool. Yes, 250k likes and 1,000 shares. We've done it before. We can do it again. Why can't we do it again? Or we can sit here and stare at each other. But you're the ones that are here watching. Don't you want the guests on? Hello. 
world gotta be a bot. Who's taking a shower? No one's taking a shower. No one's taking a shower. <sighs> I'm so excited for next week, guys. I'm so excited, excited for next week. I wanted to go ahead and see if we're at 250K likes, but we're not. We're at 180. Appreciate the 180. Appreciate the 22,000 people in here. Appreciate the freaking shares. But we gotta get to 250K. We gotta get it to 1,000 likes. I mean, not a thousand likes, a thousand shares, 250k likes. Okay. And we'll start bringing a guest on and people will roll out. We'll get the show rolling. Or we can just stare at each other. <laughs> Bombastic side eye. B <laughs> I love I love Oliver, not gonna lie. Are you bi or pan or poly yourself? I am straight. Straight. Okay guys. Cool. We hit two night we hit two seventy Well, we hit two fifty. We're almost at three hundred K likes. We are at three hundred K likes. We hit the a thousand shares. You guys are freaking awesome. Happy Saturday. From the SDR live, I'm gonna call it a show. Don't get mad at me. Show. Um, now I wanted to ask. Comment down below. How many lives have you been to? Has it been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty, every single day, or are you a four lifer? Are you with us like this? Are we like this? Four to five. 21 sheesh 10 plus 129 i don't know if we've had them 129 30 plus you guys have been over 30 i appreciate the support somebody said one too many like a billion <laughs> amazing um this is my second um all of them get into it get into it Is the phone charged, Olivia? You already know the vibes. Yes, it is. Olivia Dingleberry, I'm weak. Um. So. Hey, queen. Hey. Hello, hello. The queen is here. The queen is here. Lost count. Now, what state are you guys coming from? What state are y'all coming from? You coming from, or not state, I'm just saying, where in the world are you guys coming from? Georgia. Georgia. Canada. Jamaica. England, California, Oklahoma, Chicago, South Carolina. Where else? The UK. Atlanta. Detroit, Michigan. Alabama, Sweden. Philadelphia, Barbadosa. Mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, Sweden, Big Apple, Yonkas, Ethiopia, Miami, Hawaii, Somalia, London, Ohio, Dallas. Very nice, very nice. South Carolina, Buffalo, Alabama, Virginia, New York City, Illinois, Barbados, not hell, bruh. Alaska, Nashville, Indonesia. Hey, that's, that's, that's my country right there. I'm half Indonesian, so. Africa, also my country. The homeland. The motherland. Mm -hmm. um, Vegas, Chicago, Bermuda. So, we got where you guys are from. 
Now, I want to ask you guys, what do you want to see from us? What things do you want to see from us? Last time I asked this question, the comments were crazy. Oh my gosh, what do you what do you want to see more from us? Nothing. The truth. The fight. Bruh. Take them breed down. I'm gonna the take king. them off by Wednesday. A house tour. Money. The little dance dance. Cooking videos. Uh, a male to join babes. Yeah, maybe we'll do that tonight. Shopping blogs. <laughs> Did you get permission to speak? Yes. The last time I'm, I remembered, I'm in the land of America. We have freedom of speech. So, yes. I do have permission to speak. Cooking sounds good. Going live with Terry Joe. We, we want to go live with Terry Joe too. Just never in the request, you know? So, you gotta, you gotta like, let, let, let it know. Let it know that you want it to happen. All over the pages. Holistic healing videos. I love that. Thank you so much. Uh huh. A choreographed dance. That's creative. Oh gosh, that's that's a lot. That's good. I want to learn how to choreograph dance. Pajama night. Y'all want to see us in pajamas? That's that's an interesting. That's interesting. Why y'all be dressed up in y'all own house at night? Are y'all paying to go live in that B&B? Now, why would we rent an Airbnb every single night to go live? Business tips. I'm up, bang. person interviews. Hmm. I like that. Baseball. Dance battle. Trips. Trips well. I thought you said you were getting a guess. We are getting a guest. How many likes did you ask for? Like 250 and 1,000 chairs, but that happened a long time ago. Mm. So, thank y'all so much for the support. Thank you, thank you. comments guys if you just go through the comments it's like you know hygiene routine and tips for the girlies um do like a day where you just like completely do a cleanse like shave exfoliate mask lotion with all of the oils Africa is not a country, my bad. I misspoke. Africa is a continent. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica. Both workout routines. A hot box. Oh, what? No, ma'am. We don't, we don't do that, no. Not in this household. Not in any household. Uh, a day in the life. Well, it's a game. 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 It's a
You see the peanut head? Oh my but you see what's attached <laughs> to the peanut head? You see this? Mm. Look at this hair. You see how healthy it is? Look at her. Yes. Yes. Reason 153, they vegans. Mm -hmm. All right? They got good hair. Look at this. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Mm. Mm. She's like so in paradise. Mm -hmm. Right? Y'all be dating the girls that put coconut oil on their head and hot Cheetos and Casamigos in their body. Ooh. Make it make sense. All right, so with that being said, man, with that being said, listen, man, fellas, go get you a vegan. All right, we're good to go. For all the people here, tell, tell, tell Nate Carter, See, I know she called us out on, on the gram. I mean, on uh, TikTok earlier. We want to see you. We want to see you. We want to see you. Tell her she got to be quicker than that. Because, like, man, these, these 99 requests be loaded fast. Yeah, she also can DM us, too. Yeah. On Instagram. Nate Carter, tell her to DM us on, DM us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yo, if you see I'm Kayla Perilla up here, to uh, bring her up. Okay, I'm making. Okay, baby. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm gonna look through and see if she's in here. A hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Oh, I found her. She's Good. in here. She's in hey, here. Kayla. What up, Kayla? We're going to bring her on. Bring her up here. Kayla. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Hi. Hey. Yo, yes, we goat. can. Look who it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the goat, the Fina. What's up? What's up? I've been hearing you. You've been uh, mentioning me a lot. I appreciate that. Listen, man, got to pay respect where it's earned, man. You earned it, you know, you absolutely crush it. Uh, you are doing amazing, amazing things. Real quick, you know, you ain't above the rules around here. You the GOAT, but you still got to follow the rules. What's your name? Where you from? How did you hear about us? Um, So my name is Kayla Perilla. I'm from Miami. Uh, I actually heard about you guys from our other friend, Jalen. Um, he told me that you guys, like, your live is, like, going crazy. So, yeah, <laughs> I, said, I have to join it. <clears throat> I just want to yeah. say, though, um, Shanice, like, you're so beautiful, and I love you. Like, you're amazing. You're so powerful. Yeah. Like, keep doing what you do. Like, you're amazing. And Sean, uh, it's been a minute, but keep doing what you're doing, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Hold on. Oh, I wanted to also let you know, um, I wanted to ask a question, if that's okay with you, Sean. Yeah, Olivia, she left you in the dark, though. She what? <laughs> Kayla was like, I actually oh, haven't dark. met Olivia. Um, I actually didn't. I remember seeing Shanice um, on your page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just seeing Olivia, like, recently. But nice to meet you as well, Olivia. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've heard so much good things about you. All right, so what's, your, what's your question? So I wanted to know, like, I've been watching the lives and I'm like a little bit invested now. So I just wanted to know, um, you wanted to add a third, right? A third queen. Yeah, I'm in the process of that now. 
Okay, that's cool. So if the third queen, right, if she's also a bisexual, right, would you be okay if, like, her and Shanice got closer than, like, Olivia and Shanice's relationship? Like, would that, would you, like, cut off Shanice and the third queen if they were, like, really close, like, the relationship was, like, really close? No, I would, I would, never, I would never cut them off. Obviously, I'm the focal point of all my relationships. I just think it, it works out better that way. Um so primarily the relationship would be with me and you know if you know my third queen and she's happened to cross that line and there's chemistry there then like you know whatever happens happens it's kind of one of those things but if somebody wants to come in and like Shanice is like the main focus uh for me that really wouldn't sit right because like say for instance if I ever got to a point where I'm like hey Shanice you know I no longer want to be with you or hey Shanice like this I feel like I'm no longer pushing you to your potential I know I no longer feel like I'm the best guy for you uh, or she felt like, hey, you're no longer the best guy for me, then it could just create a tricky situation with my other queen, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, cool. And um, mm -hmm. do you recommend, like, all powerful professional women to be in po polygamous relationships? Um, I think that uh, poly relationships, I think people should do whatever aligns with their core values, but I also think that poly relationships would eliminate a lot of problems that women have when it comes to dating guys at this level uh, and above, personally. Because it's just a totally different level. Okay. I don't and think every guy deserves to be poly. You know me, KK. Yeah. I don't think that if a guy's not making $20,000 a month, I don't even think he should be allowed to date women. You know me. Like, I think, I think women are a, a, a privilege, not a right. I don't think every man deserves a wife. Okay, that makes sense. And I just wanted to say one more thing. Um, my best friend actually messaged you. Um, he actually got in a really bad accident. He was trying to, I guess, get back on his uh, grind. He asked, he was trying to mm -hmm. tell me to ask you, like, what should he do? He said that you replied to his DM. Uh, he was asking, like, what should he do to, you know, um, get to that $20,000 a month? Like, how Man. He doesn't if he if he doesn't have great credit um, and he's just starting from absolutely nothing. He's in Miami. If I was him, I would honestly just go sell solar. Go commit to that for six months. He'll be making twenty thousand dollars a month. Go sell. Get in. Get into sales. That is the quickest way to a million dollars a year without having to run a business. Get into sales. Uh, it's so 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 critical. Uh, if he does have great credit, I would uh, establish business credit and leverage it. Um, leverage it to buy some assets so that he can create some type of passive income uh, from it, 10 to $15,000 a month. And that will allow him to focus on building a business, if that makes sense. Um, so okay. that's what I would do if I was him. And also if he wants more information, tell him to DM me, DM me again and let him make sure he drops your name. Cause I get hundreds of DMs and I try my best to get all of them, get through all of them, but sometimes it gets to be a lot. Yeah. All right. Appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, so, Go ahead. Any more questions? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Nah, not really. Yeah, you do. You got some questions. All right. So with that being said, uh, I want to say congratulations to you. Saw that you just bought your first investment property. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Tell us about that. Tell us about that. Um, I actually just purchased it like a couple days ago and I just posted it on Friday. The post went crazy. Um, this all started from me selling clothes so yeah. it's just a blessing and i remember um yeah. um when i used to be like not you know on social media i was struggling yeah. to get my shit out there but now it's yeah. like finally working out so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. kayla's so low-key she she she's literally yeah, I'm, so i don't really I, I don't really know i don't really know how to promote that but basically yeah. i pretty much started from the bottom made it to the top but yeah thank you yeah. so much for having me yeah real real quick you got a business right yeah. What do you do? Um, I have a coaching business. Um, so anybody that's in here that wants to learn how to like start a business, I that's like my main thing. And I also have my own clothing business for, you know, uh, streetwear, clothing, luxury clothing, all kinds of clothing. I have a lot of influencers and yeah, and that are in my clothes. But yeah, appreciate it for yeah, having me. Yeah, yeah. Where can they find you, Kayla? Uh, you guys can find me on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know there's other viewers that want to come on here, so yeah, we're not worried about them. We're worried about you. People can learn from you. No, 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 no. I know. I know people want to ask their questions. Like, I already asked my questions. <laughs> they can. They can follow me if they want to, but I already asked my questions. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. You guys go follow Kayla, man. If you guys are trying to do a, a, a clothing business, highly recommend you guys follow her. Anytime people hit me up, actually, that's what I refer her to because she's the GOAT. She's very humble, uh, but, you know, uh, she has a she has a great course. Uh, if you want to start a clothing business, I highly recommend you guys hit her up. Hey, first win of the season. What? You want to let them see it, man? Oh, it's okay. Hey. Oh, where did the fireworks go? The Padres win. The first of the season, y'all. Padres win. Padres win. First one of the season. Cause we just get it. Wow. All right, baby. Let's go. I am Sonia, you're coming on. Hello, Sonia. Hi, is that your name? I'm back. Hi. Wait, can you see me? Wait, wait a minute. No, I I'm can't. There we go. And today I'm back with the questions. We're back. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yes. I think I remember. It was oh it was both of you guys. Oh, wait, you're on mute now. Gosh, hey. Yes. Hey. I remember. It was oh, it was both of you guys. Oh, wait, you're on mute now. Hey. I don't know why hey. you're doing that. Is my colleague you ignore? No. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm back. Okay. You're good. I think somebody called you, right? I'm texting. Yeah. So, okay. um, do you hear yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I can hear you today. Okay, good. What is your um name and where are you from? Well, I am Nelly, and I'm uh, originally from Germany. I talked to you guys, like, last time. And see, the comment section is already booing me. It's, like, crazy. But this time I have questions. I'm going to entertain y'all. How about that? I love it. <laughs> yes. We don't listen to the comments. <laughs> but yeah, um, I know. I what, really don't. also, where did you find us first? Like, what's the first thing you saw from us? Was it, like, a, a troll I page? Actually hey, I actually just got a real quick a, a question. I got a question. Yeah, what's up? What y'all doing in that red room, though? It's, it's about that demon time, Sean. You oh, know it. man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, I think you inspired you me. It, Sean. I'm going to get me a red room. Know what I'm saying? Period. I'm, I'm going to get me, get me a red room and put the mirror on the ceiling. I am screaming. <laughs> Grab the questions. Mm -hmm. So, gee, we got the questions ready this time. Like, right. Last time I got super distracted and I bored everybody out. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so. Do it. No, okay, so, before you get started, no, my name is not Jay. What's up? <laughs> Listen, Sean, I know it's Sean. I don't know how people come, came up with, with Jason, but you know what? Jason. My first question, though, Sean, is is did you meet Olivia first and dated Shanice first? Or, like, what? Because the narrative just keeps changing, and I just want to hear from y'all. So, Olivia like. Olivia first online. I met Shanice first in person. Okay. Okay. So you and Olivia knew each other before you knew Shanice, right? Yeah. Okay. Got it. So, um, I, well, let's just go back to the live where Zoya was, right? And, and, and you seem to be, you know, offended by, you know, by the possibility of like ha her asking you like, could you be bi and stuff like that? Is there a particular reason like you got upset? Like, you know, that, she just basically asked you a question. I mean, it's 2023. Anybody could be bi or gay, you know? So, like, what was the... I I'm being nice, Sean. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Nice. What'd, you say? What'd you say? Okay. Zoya was on live, like, a couple weeks ago, right? And she said, know could you, is. you know, be bisexual or some... Like, one of the girls, when she, she came in, she was standing up in her kitchen and stuff. But, like, 
um, she mentioned, she said, Sean, do you, are you bisexual or could you be bisexual or could you bring a man to the relationship? So like, is there a particular reason like you're offended by that question or? I, I'm sitting here with my two queens and somebody want to ask me, am, am I gay? That's kind of <laughs> <laughs> I understand. That's true. I, I get that a lot. That's just like somebody saying, man, you got to never mind. Go ahead. That's true. All right. You want to ask your next question? So. Yeah. Hold on. But real quick, man. I know y'all yeah. see this. I know y'all see this fresh cut, man. Shout out to the best barber in the game, Brandon. John, in San John, Diego. John, hey, listen, listen, man. Listen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm talking right now. Listen. Listen, man. It's at least three hundred dollars for him to touch your head. At least three hundred. Right? Where three hundred to get a haircut? Hmm? Three hundred for a haircut? It's a house call. Sean, Sean, it's a house call. Sean. Anyway, oh, it's a house no. call. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, man, shout out, shout out, shout out to Be Money, man. Shout out to Brandon, man. Brandon, you know who you are, San Diego, man. Hit him up. Period. Listen commercial him. break. Period. <laughs> anyway, um, well. So. Yeah, I need a commercial break from all that sweating y'all was doing in that wet red red room. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> okay. <Sorry>. Good night. <laughs> okay. Anyway, well, anyway. Shanice, how are you doing today? How how are you doing, Olivia? What's up? Good. Doing so good. good. Thank you. We're good. I see you changed your hair. I like it. Thank you. What did you do to it? Is that your natural hair? Yes. You should wear oh. it more, cause like people be out here bullying you, like it's crazy. It's okay. I mean, being in the military, it's either a ponytail or bun. That's those are my two options, and that's about it. Ponytail, bun, box. Okay, so I got I got one more question. Uh, not not one more. We got a lot of questions. We have a list today. Okay, so I have lists. Okay, I like making Shanice. Lists. You you're bisexual, right? Right. And you said you guys talked about, you know, bringing a woman to the relationship and all of that, you know, like, like, was it, was it to benefit the both of y'all or because I don't understand how you guys came from, from like, oh, we're not you capping, not me capping. I'm screaming. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you know, you, you guys talked about something about, you know, we, we can bring another, a third to the relationship, you know, to benefit the both of y'all. Maybe. I don't know. So how did the conversation like switch from we're going to both benefit from it yeah. to Sean is the only one benefited from this. Okay. So from Olivia, yes. Uh, from Olivia, for me, I get sisterhood. Um, but in regards to um, the actual discussion, the initial like idea was bringing more women into our dynamic, which was the plan. And that is what we did in right. regards to like, how, um, it was going to benefit us that evolved into us prioritizing women being the women that come into our dynamic being more of an asset rather than more of a pleasure field chase right like instead of bringing someone into our dynamic because you know they got a pretty face and a fatty we're bringing people don't into get me our... wrong we like pretty faces and fatties <laughs> hey <laughs> ladies man if you got a pretty face and a fatty hey me too sean me too i gotta go i like that. pretty faces okay. and fatties okay. me too yes. me but too because i've been looking with y'all good night anyway yeah i said have something to offer your spirit like your your character your mindset but you know like, saying saying but you know saying saying that olivia is an asset could be like you know which would just benefit it from her in some way, but like that, it just mm -hmm. comes off a little bit wrong in a way, not all the way. I'm not saying like it's all the way wrong. Like I, you know, but like Sean, Sean, this is what I be talking about. <laughs> this is what I be talking about. The red light got you tripping, Sean. That's just what happens when you date an extremely gorgeous, beautiful woman. You just can't keep. But your like, hands how can you say she's gorgeous, extreme, and all this stuff? But you, but you got another girl on the side, Sean. What's what's going on? You got another queen on the side. She fine. She fine too. Shit. I mean, yeah. period. Listen, I listen. You you do your one two threes, okay? Olivia, how do you feel like in the relationship? Uh, uh, in the relationship, do you feel like an asset? Do you feel like you're being satisfied 100 percent? Do you feel like you both get you know the same attention, or do you feel like, uh, like basically, 
a, what, what's it called? A third wheel, you know? I feel amazing. Okay. Do you guys have pajamas? Let's just, let's just go there because I, we want to see the raw, you know, relationship. We want to see the real you guys, you know, like I come here and I see. My, pa my pajamas, pajamas are not TikTok appropriate. Our the pajamas what? are, it's, our pajamas are not TikTok appropriate. Oh, what y'all be wearing? Ooh. Use and your you imagination. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I've been using my imagination. Because best believe Shani's well, and, 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 and Olivia too, shit. I am very gay. Good night. We <laughs> uh, <laughs> noticed. Uh, okay. First of all, good night. But yeah, Sean. What's up? Why are you always like on your phone and all of that stuff when like people are asking you questions up here, you know? Like you, you didn't ask me a question. I don't mean to be rude, but we'd be up here for three, four, five, five hours and not a lot of time yet. A lot of the time people true. don't be talking to me. If you want my attention though, you know, I never want to be rude. If you want my attention, all you gotta do is say, Sean. Do I have your full attention? That's it. Okay. 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 Well, that's nice. Okay, great. Now about your apartment, right? How long have you stayed in that house, Sean? Like, I, I get that it was yours first, right? It's, it's it's in your name and everything. Like, how long have you been there? And have you, like, did you get it after, like, being with Shanice and Olivia? Or were you just there first? Because you did say you were homeless for three years. So, how I didn't, did you I didn't, get I all that? Because I'm not sure how much I'm like, I said three years ago I was homeless, um, and I've been in this place for about two years. How did you make all that money in a year? You can change your whole life in six months. Could you go That's turn true. it? Thank That's you. very true. You can if you guys to think about that. What people but don't like realize. How though? Hold on, hold on. Sean, what people don't realize is that. What people don't. What people don't realize is that in six months you can change your entire life if you just focus. If now, you can stop the so parties, I like testimonies. Okay, I like it when somebody wait. tells me their testimony. Wait. So how did you change your life in six months? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, listen, oh, yeah. a lot of people could could use this mindset in the in the chat. Could use what the mindset? Yes. yes. Just uh, what's that mindset that we're talking about? Delayed gratification. Paying the price today so you can pay any price tomorrow. Like sacrificing a little bit today so you can get a lot in the future that's and better it, for you. It's the same thing we're doing now. Like, you know, people be like, well, where's the Lambo? Where's this? Where's but that? What's the Just shortcut to that line? Today. You say somebody's coming to you and they're like, okay, like I, I believe in you and I know. Yo, you, 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 you keep life. asking me a question and then not letting me answer. Okay, like, do you go want ahead. To answer it. Go ahead. What's your question? I want to make sure I answer it perfectly because you didn't ask me that. How did you change your life in six months? Let's say somebody just comes in because it's easy to do, you know, to, it's easier said than done. So like the number one like, thing you got to do, the number one thing you got to do to change your life fast, people either run to pleasure or they run away from pain. For That's me, it. I was at a very, I was at a very low point. I was sleeping in my car. I was, you know, failing in the military. My life was in shambles, and I was like, I don't want to be this guy anymore. I want to positively impact people. I want to be live up to my potential. I want to have great relationships. So I made a committed decision to pursue my potential. I got around high level people. I got mentorship. Mentorship right. is the to life you guys got to understand and it's the biggest thing you guys can ever do um mentorship is what allowed me to really 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 change my life so fast mentorship being around the right people and like starving my distractions and feeding my focus right okay I just, i'm just still trying to figure out like how do you just change your life in six months because i would love to change my my, my life in six all months. right so anybody anybody that's a guy if you don't have great credit get go get a sales job if you guys go get into sales you guys can easily go and make 20 to thirty thousand dollars like a month like if you're starting from absolutely nothing sales is everything like think you know how much real estate agents make when they oh i do sell i do i do real estate i have all right so what, how much do you make when you how much do you make when you sell a home it just depends because I flip houses. How much do you make when you sell a home? It depends on the home. All right. It depends What's on the size of the home. How much do you make? How much effort you... I make? What's huh. the what? What do what? you make on a home? In profit or the whole amount? 
Bro, just give There's us, just give us, just give us. What do you make when you sell a home? You sell a five hundred thousand dollar home. How much you gonna make? About two hundred dollars. Uh, two hundred thousand dollars in profit. You, you, uh, you, you're just. Are you a wholesaler or a real estate agent? I'm a real estate agent. I'm a broker. All right. So you make two hundred thousand dollars selling a five hundred thousand dollar home. Yeah. I'm a wrong professional. Right. Sign me up for what you do. So it's very cheap here. Yeah. Well. Well, well, make sure I'm in the wrong profession. Let me come sell some homes because I want to go sell the 500. I would love to coach you about that. I'm because... in the wrong profession. That's almost what's more than I made all last month. Uh, what's your all profession? All I do is sell a home. Sean. <laughs> yeah. One home. What's your profession, Sean? Because if you're selling what's a 500 dollars, a 500 thousand dollar home, a half a million dollar home, of course you're making a shit ton of profit. Because I'm not just going to sell but a This, is my, this, to make this is my profit. profession. Like, this no. is my profession. I'm a businessman. I, so what's your business? <laughs> I have real estate. My parents yeah. own a truck company that's also in my yeah. name as well. So yeah. we're owners. That's awesome. Company. We make $11,000 in, uh, in one load. Sorry, in, 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 in one of the trucks that we have. Yeah. Um, I know about trucking. Trucking's great. Trucking's only trucking trucking's going to continue really to grow. Trucking, trucking's the most essential business in the American economy. As e-commerce goes up, listen, to guys, you guys got to look at opportunity. As they're shutting down Walmarts, they're shutting down physical stores. Everybody's yep. buying things online with Instacart, with e-com, with, with with Amazon. So when you guys are buying stuff online, how do you think it gets to your house in two days? Trucks. All right. So yes. with that being said, you guys got to invest where things go. Guys, and for anybody watching this, if you guys are watching this and you got like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars saved up, DM me. I want to send you a connect. There's places where you can go. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. There's places where you guys can go and invest a hundred thousand dollars. And these people will cut you a check for five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars based off of a, a business. You can buy a truck and people will literally manage it and run it for you. You don't even have yep. to do anything. You can capitalize on the industry. Right, this this girl just told you she makes eleven thousand a load. I don't right, know. so for my ballers, like oh, hold on, hold on. for all my ballers in here, listen, you guys got to like invest in businesses, and these are deals, right? That that we actually want to do. Our goal is to get five trucks this year. So that's awesome that you that's awesome that you actually like say that. Um, but you still got to tell me how you make two hundred thousand dollars in profit from selling. Listen, Zima. Sean, I'm not gonna like remodel a home and modernize it and not make enough profit. I will make my worth money, and I will wait my I will make my time worth it. Man, I'm in the wrong industry. I need to get with you. Two hundred thousand at home. I, I need to get with my you. Mom and I do um, what's it called? The truck company, and we're thinking about opening like chicken places and stuff. It's Alabama. Everybody chicken places, fried huh? chicken. Ba 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 fried chicken, yeah. Fried chicken in the fried south. Chicken. It's, 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 it's good money. We did the whole um, what was it called? The vending machine that you always tell people, like you know, free game. It's common sense. I don't know why people don't be doing this stuff, but I'll be trying to help people and give them legitimate. I'll be trying to help them and give them strategy, but um, but people don't be wanting to hear that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, line, especially when you come in this live and you're like really positive. I got so much hate from just being positive from last live, and I'm like, I'm not here to entertain y'all. Like I'm yeah. here to ask the questions that I came to ask, and that's it. And and really, you guys yeah. did nothing to me. I'm learning a lot about y'all's yeah. relationship, you know. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, yeah. Also, in business wise, like, why would I just come here and be like, oh yeah, I do this and this and that, just because I'm lying? Like yeah. what? Yeah. I don't think clout. Yeah. I, you got, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You got any other questions? What was the question? What you wanted to ask? Um, I, are y'all together? I just, oh yeah, this is my beautiful <laughs> girlfriend. Hi. Yes, sir. I don't believe you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. My beautiful girlfriend. Hi. Again, very <laughs> much. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Anyway, so ask I your question. just have one question. So you talk about a lot. You talk a lot about being a real man and this definition of masculinity that you have, right? I just kind of want to know how you yourself <laughs> define masculinity because everybody defines it differently, right? So, so I, just, I think I think it means a lot of things, but I think um, there's masculine traits. But I think the number one thing a masculine man does is protect and provide for his loved ones. I get that. Yeah, I I guess, but <laughs> I mean, it checks out. It checks out. It checks out. There is more than one definition of masculinity, but if that is yours, 
but I've never seen a king with like a lot of queens. Well, keep living. Right? Go overseas. Right? Yeah. It's yeah, keep living. It's 2023. Anything can happen, you know? And I, I, I've been, you know, positive with you guys. And I'm like, it's it's something new, something that we haven't seen. And people are not, people are very biased, you know, when it comes to the stuff that they grew up knowing. Like, we haven't seen all of this stuff, like, you know, with your relationship and all of that stuff. So I'm, I'm very, very curious about it. And I don't care how much hate I get from it. I just, I just really want to know really what was this whole thing. Now, you said you wanted seven wives and girlfriends seven queens yes so you're gonna have more girlfriends on top of the seven queens yeah i'll have a couple girlfriends as well sean what's up what are you looking for in a woman that you can't find in all of these women no it's not that i'm looking for anything listen for me the way i do relationships people mm -hmm. you should find somebody that not necessarily can peach, I mean, can pleach you, somebody that like um, compliments you, okay? So I look for people that we can compliment each other. We don't complete each other, right? I'm, I'm like somebody, yo, you got your own lane, you got your own identity. I'm just here to compliment you and help you be the best you, right? right. I, I'm not looking to, do, to be in a relationship to fill a void. That's not how I do my relationships personally. Right. Like no woman can make me happy. You know what I'm saying? A woman can bring help bring me peace. A woman can help bring protect me spiritually. But, but happiness, to also happiness, happy? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Happiness is something that is my own, right? I have to be happy on my own. She has to be happy on her own. I can't make her happy. Now I can compliment her life. I can compliment Shanice's life, but I can't like complete it. You feel me? So that's just the way I approach relationships. Okay. So you, you, you feel like the seven is going to complete you and, and like a couple I more. You didn't, I okay. think you didn't listen to a word I just said. No, I did. I did. But like, you know, they. You, they, you, you, know, you listen to what I said and they said the exact opposite. Essentially what he's saying <laughs> is that while they're whole on their own, they can complement each other as well. So it's the same way as like we're whole by ourselves. But right. We're very happy together. Okay. Well, I guess if you're happy, we're all happy, you know, at the end of the day, that's. Again, not my business, but you know it's it's fine. Now, Sean, you oh, uh, uh, sorry, Shanice, you did you you're in the military. You've been deployed before. Um, yeah. did you like come back and like go to therapy and stuff? Because I know that a lot of like people that you know come from the military. Me being that I come from a military family, and I've seen like my parents have PTSD and all of that stuff. Like, have you had have you found like therapy on that stuff? And also, Sean, also you as well. Have you like seek therapy after you know deployment and all that stuff? Or, I'll let you first, uh, no, that's not something that I needed after deployment. Okay. So you feel like you were just okay with like whatever happened? Because there's a lot that happens out there when you're deployed and stuff. Mm -hmm. I've, I've heard my parents tell the stories themselves and they were very traumatized and all that stuff. And they really needed help for that. And they seeked it. So do you feel like you were just okay with? Yes. Okay. How about you, Sean? Um, personally, um, you asking about me or like her deployment? Like you, de you being deployed, you said you had a I, know, I, never, I, never and stuff. I went on, I went out on detachments. I, I never deployed. Did you like get out the military or did you serve your time and like leave? I, did, I got out the military. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that like, so like, hold on real quick, real quick, real quick. Everybody's, I, I'm seeing a lot of questions, not a lot of questions, but if you guys, I know you guys were asking about like the trucking and the economy thing. If you guys uh, want, and this is only for people specifically the trucking. If you got over a few, like, you know, you're a very qualified person, right? so about $100,000, whether you want to finance that, whether you want to pay for that, however you want to do it. Um, if you want more information, I definitely can get you pointed in the right direction. Somebody that's like an actual absolute expert. She is a absolute beast. Uh, her name is Amy. Just DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore Taylor Scrider. DM me truck. Um, it's the one with the blue check. Just DM me truck, uh, and I'll get you the information on that. Uh, you guys, I really want to encourage you guys, man. Get your money into assets. Get your money out the banks. You guys are seeing these banks collapse. You guys want assets that are real, stuff that you can see, stuff that you can touch, that you can go and, and it's going to cut you a check every month. Assets are what get you through the tough times. Okay, mm -hmm. so highly, highly recommended. Anybody in here, you got, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70,000 dollars, you're highly, highly qualified. 
um, and you want information on that truck and I can get you pointed in the, in the right direction, somebody that will answer all your questions so you can make an informed decision, uh, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. It's the, it's, the, uh, it's the one with the blue check. All right. So with that being said, um, shoot me that information and I, I mean, shoot, shoot me that DM truck, Sean underscore T underscore Adams, uh, want the blue check and I will get you that information. I'll personally reach out to you and make sure you get all your questions answered. Uh, so with that being said, um, with that being said, go ahead. Red room. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Sean, I'm going to start calling you Jason once you start calling me red room. Okay. Anyway, Olivia. Um, yes. You said you 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 know about your business and stuff. I've I've heard a lot of people say it's like an MLM or and all that stuff. Like you're stuck in a pyramid scheme and like all of that. Like, what really is your business? I run my own financial services and insurance agency. Now, oh. in an in an agency model, basically you have like different services that you offer. You partner with different companies, different products. Um, well, it's mostly service based, right? Um, and I have many contracts with different companies, retirement companies, life insurance companies, yep. investment companies, and also yep. partnerships. So people come to me and they come with a certain problem as well as a goal. And I'm just the middleman and I'm the broker that puts the right tools and the right financial vehicles in place to get them there. So okay. no, in terms like, of like an MLM or like a pyramid scheme, no. I'm simply just a broker and I work with other brokers. Okay. All right. Um, I guess that answers that question. I, yeah, I don't, I don't have any bad blood with y'all and I don't know why people like your views are going down. So I'm just going to hop off, but, um, it was glad. I'm, don't, I'm glad don't worry I'm, about the views. Listen, they just be throwing tomatoes at me and it's like, I am very allergic to acid and I just cannot, you know, I don't eat tomatoes. <laughs> listen i know i am very allergic to tomatoes but you know what i digress anyway i did ask my question and i usually come on here and i'm like really positive with you guys and i'm like what really is wrong with being positive you know like you guys did nothing to us they just want entertainment and i don't bring that so i'm just gonna hop off so somebody else can bring the entertainment that i guess they're looking for but it was, it was really nice to, you know, have Sean answer the questions because a lot of people say you don't answer questions, Sean. So it's like, you know. He always does. Like... I mean... Yeah, I always answer the question. <laughs> See, you guys let me, you know, land my plane. You know, when people ask me questions, I'd be like trying to like, but they would be like cutting me off, cutting my engines off. So it'd be like, uh, but you guys let me land my plane. Appreciate it. Yeah, you do, sure. but like sometimes you use shortcuts, you know, like. But you, you you do answer my questions, and I'm I'm like so proud of you, Sean. Like I I came here, I was like I am going to ask my questions and watch him not answer, and then you just answered, and I was like, okay, great. You know, like I I got a good vibe from the live, so I was just like, you know, great. So. Oh, it's good vibes over here. I see. That. Anyway, y'all stay positive. Thank you for letting me speak, Sean, today. And I really appreciate you guys. We appreciate you. Too. We appreciate Thank you, too. you. Thank you. I'm sending all love and, you know, all of that stuff. So, yes, thanks. sending all uh, the love. Thanks, Sean. We love you. Thank you. All Thank you guys. If you guys are watching this, listen, man, that lady was a beast. Right? I don't know if she she's was. doing 200000 per home. That's crazy. I can't teach you that. But I can't teach you how to make ten to $15,000 a month. I know people being me for, like, truck, that's, like, you know, a different level, big barrier to entry. But um, for the rest, for everybody else, man, if you are watching this, if you got a 700 plus credit score um, and you are looking for a couple strategies that you can use to, you know, make 10 to 15,000 a month, whether you want to, you know, just double your salary, whether you want to like take care of your kids, whether you're trying to quit your job, send your kids to private school, whatever it may be that you're trying to do. Maybe you want to retire your parents. I don't know. If you're watching this, you got a 700 plus credit score. You want to learn to make an extra 10 to $15,000 a month. DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. All right, so I want the blue check. I only got one account. I'll never ask you for money. DM me free game, all right? Um, and I'll teach you for free how to make ten to $15,000 a month. Why am I doing this? True wealth isn't about money. It's about impact on people. And shout out to you guys, man, because yesterday a lady came on here. Yes, oh, sorry. And yesterday sorry. a lady came on here. Mm -hmm. 
and she shouted out her business and she said thanks to you guys she completely sold out and she's helping people with skincare get rid of like skin problems like apollosia and all those different things so shout out to you guys for supporting her business that was really really awesome she, she was able to sell out and those are the type of messages that like really i like to see right. you know helping somebody you know people get great products you know seeing the business owner obviously they have a great product and they're helping people all over the world so helping business owners help other people is really awesome if you guys have a physical business or physical product you got a great great product not yes. a good product a great product and you really care about helping people and you want to come up here and shout out your business please shoot me like a dm shoot olivia a dm uh and we'll make sure you get up here only if your product really helps people man like if you're just trying to make money please go somewhere else but if you really care about helping people you got a great physical product please let me yes. know okay because we want to help as many of you guys as possible and shout out to all you guys for supporting her business that means a lot uh, anything we can do to help so with that being said one more time if you guys are watching this man you guys are watching this if you got 700 plus credit score and you just want legitimate strategy that you can take to implement to make 10 to fifteen thousand dollars a month whether you want to send your kids to private school whether you want to quit your job whatever it may be that you want to do maybe you just want to you know go buy some red bottoms i don't know um dm me on instagram sean underscore two underscore items just the one with the blue check it's my only account give me free game all right, free game, DM me free game. You guys gotta pay attention to this. DM me free game, because I get so many messages. Mm -hmm. I want to, to, to help you guys. So DM me free game, and I'll teach you for free how to make ten to $15,000 a month, okay? And that's on you to implement the strategies, but it's free information, okay? So DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore TM subscribers. DM me free game. Uh, and for my guys, if you don't wanna, you know, just make, you know, ten to 15,000 a month, for my guys, my, my guys out here, you between the age of 18 and 30, you got a 700 plus credit score and you really want to have massive success, man. And you're just looking for mentorship. You're looking to change your life in the next six months. Like you're like, you know, I made the committed decision. I'm ready to be great. But you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, um, mentor. And I'll personally reach out to you to see if it's a good fit for you. DM me mentor and I'll personally reach out to you. For my guys, man, we need more strong leaders in the world. So that's what I create. All right. So with that being said, let's get the next person up here. But before we do that, let's get to a million. I feel like Millie rocking. All right. A Millie rock on any block. All right. Speaking of Millie rock, we want Nate Carter, man. Where you at? You know? We want to see her. Y'all blow her up. And blow her up in her comments and DMs. Tell her, come on down. Double tap, double tap, double tap. We're at 665K likes. We need to be at one milli, you have to pay one milli likes. And let's get to five. <laughs> Thank you. Five K shares. <laughs> Please and thank you. I really appreciate y'all. 
appreciate y'all for those. See, this is why we appreciate you, man. See, you can't do anything. Good. I hope you guys learn from this. You can't do anything great alone. Can't get a million likes alone by yourself. You could, but how long would it take you? All right, you need people, okay, in order to do anything great. And that's what Polly is all about. It's not about ego. It's not about any of that. It's about saving our families. I have an appreciation for each other. That's literally a different strengths, different weaknesses, but we all come together to support each other. All right, hey. Molly food. 
I'll look into that. All right. We bring in another person. I got you, baby. Mm. Warm and toasty over here. Mm-hmm. Girl, just off the profile picture. Hello. I love it. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi, and you came ready with the camera. Oh my gosh. Hi. How are you? you? I'm yes, we can hear you. Okay, so um, I'm good. good. Wait, wait, wait. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Hannah, and I'm from Idaho. Hey, are you serious? No, I just don't want to say my location. Okay, got gotcha. But I'll say my name though. I was like, who is from Idaho? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, so I just have most of my questions are for the girls, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I want to start with Olivia first. Okay, so on your page, I did see that you said, okay, so you flew out like once or twice, right? And then um, you said that you were in a relationship. Sorry? Can you repeat that? Yeah, so, okay, so on, like, your little, um, you did a video where you just, like, you described basically what happened, right? It's, like, one of your pinned videos, and you said that you flew out, and you were in a relationship at the time, and then that you had broke up with your man to pursue this relationship, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, when no, you... Barely. Um... Not necessarily. What happened is that, like, I was just having a lot of realizations that, like, that I didn't even want to be in that relationship. And that was because, like, I feel like, I feel like the, the sign, the telling sign for me when I was, like, not, because we were FaceTiming pretty much every day. And I feel like the telling sign was I was not looking forward to our FaceTime calls anymore. I was like, I really just don't want to do this. Um, and that came <laughs> And oh my god, what the heck? What the deal Stop! That's <laughs> not the saddlebag. <laughs> they need oh, to stop. TikTok is so funny. <laughs> Y'all be making wow. edits, and they're just like, what in the <laughs> world? <laughs> Photoshop <laughs> skills on a 10. Anyway. Yeah, that was, I was just like, this is this not meant for me. And then I was realizing, I was like, why? And it's because I felt like I was leading in the relationship. Like, I was leading a lot in the, like, most of the time I was leading relationship. Um, and that's just something I did not want to do as a woman. Um, and, yeah, it just felt very draining and not fulfilling. So I was like, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. And then, okay. yeah. Okay, so my thing is, if you were in a relationship, right, did your man know you were going to go to another man's house? Like, I yes. know no man's okay with that. Yeah. He, he said he was fine with that? Yes. So in that but, mind you, so but mind you, he was 19 years old. What, what does a 19-year-old, like, you know, guy, I feel like it's different for guys, right? Um, mm -hmm. Still in school, all of that stuff, so it, it was kind of different. Okay, um, cause, okay, so in my opinion, I don't know about anybody else, that's cheating. Like, if you are in a relationship, for you to be emotionally invested into somebody else, why did you leave him? Not, I was, no, she wasn't I emotionally invested until she got, came here and was like, damn, he looked kind of fine. To each their own. <laughs> to each their Olivia, own. Olivia, Olivia, this is how loyal Olivia is. She wouldn't even tell me she liked me until she broke up with that guy. She wouldn't even express her feelings for me at all. Like, we slept in two totally different rooms. She was not here. It's not romantic. Like, the only thing we did was go to the gym together. She went, went, do her thing. 
really was going all day, you know, go work on her business, do whatever she does all day. I was working on my business all day. And the only difference is we talked, maybe we would go and grab dinner, talk about the day. We'd come here, go sleep in completely opposite rooms. She yeah. denied every single advance that I made. And trust me, I made a lot. Yeah, okay. So you said you left your man, correct? So were you, okay, did you get with Sean because you liked him as a person and everything? Or was it, on, just, just keep it a book. Or was it like the things he was doing for you and the money and all that stuff? Because the first, the first thing you said. Because okay. he was like, so, okay, so because, because honestly, we were super, I didn't realize how aligned we were. Also, the first time I came here, First of all, we hit it off over a phone call. That wasn't even 10 minutes. So when we met each other for the first time, it felt so natural. I've never met somebody that was like so similar to me. And he actually brought up a lot of me that like I was keeping like hidden. I was like, this is how I act if like, if I was just like more out there. So um, we always like clicked, just like everything seemed natural. And the second time I came here, um, it was, that's when we actually started our romantic side of the relationship. And, um, I just loved his ambition. I loved his mission that he was on and we were just super aligned on what the things we wanted. Okay. And then my second question for you is, okay. Or third question. So you knew he had a girlfriend, correct? Like he was in a relationship and then you knew you were stepping into somebody else's like basically territory. Question: If the roles were um, reversed and it was you in a relationship, would you want another female in your space? Like, so to, to be, be honest, honest, I did not know if he was for sure. I didn't know if he was for sure. Like, I didn't know what terms they were on in the relationship. I don't know if you know they were just dating. I didn't know if they were exclusive. I didn't know what they were. I just knew they were together, but I still didn't even know they were together the second time I came here. Um, I definitely did not know they were together when I came here and Denise was on deployment. So I was just kind of like, I don't know, maybe it happened, maybe, you know, maybe they are still together, maybe they're not. Um, I didn't really know. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. Okay, so in that case, I can't really be mad at you if you didn't know because it's Sean's place to make it known. Um, that's to make that, what? No. That you are like in a relationship with him. I knew, I knew, yeah, I knew you were dating Shanice. So why are you saying you didn't know? I, was, I told you like everything about her. I, I know. Okay. So then, what, why did you tell her you were unclear? You gotta learn to like communicate. Like, what, what did you, what do you feel like was that you didn't know? Um, I just haven't seen you guys together in a long time and that was probably why well didn't tell her that don't say the parents say you didn't like know like make that clear like i told you we were dating oh yeah if anything i didn't know you had a boyfriend when you came out because if i knew you wouldn't have came out it's crazy if i knew she had a boyfriend she would have never came out but i didn't know okay okay and then now my other question it's just like a group thing okay because i don't like I don't know how relationships work with three people because in my knowledge, it's just another person. Dealing with another person is just hectic in itself. Do you, because the way it moves, it's like Sean says the say, like has the say in the whole relationship. Like, no offense, but it just seems like you females are just like, yes, men. Because we're all human. We all have boundaries where like there's things where we cut off and it's like, yo, I don't fuck with, sorry. I don't like that or this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? So what is it that you guys, because you guys say you guys check each other or whatever. What is it that you guys don't like about each other that you guys decided you were going to work on together? So my question basically is, everybody has boundaries, correct? Where is it that you guys draw your boundaries when it comes to each other? Does that make sense? No. Who are you asking? Yeah, all of you guys, like... There has to be things that Sean does you guys don't like because it seems like his way goes. And sometimes it's like, okay, it kind of comes off a little bit disrespectful. Do you guys check him and be like, yo, I didn't like like when you did that or this, that, and the third. Can you not do that ever again? You know what I mean? Because it just seems like he checks you guys on like in front of everybody. It's like, and you guys never check him. Do you know what I mean? 
So is it like you guys just, everything he does, it's like, okay, fine. And you guys just stay silent? Or do you talk to him and be like, yo, okay, you did this and a third. I wasn't listen, with it. You do, you do your relationship the way you want to do your relationship. Don't be sitting up I never said anything. Us. It was a question. You feel if, me? If it's a yes or no do, If you want to, if you want to check your man in front of people, then you go and you do that. But why right? you like, check in well, why, females in front of everybody, though? That's not what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. I'm saying, why do you feel the need to check them in front of everybody, though? Check them on what? Like, when they do something wrong, like, right now, like, like when she says something, you couldn't, like, right now, when she said, oh, I didn't know you guys were together, it's like, you was coming at her, like, why would you say that? Da, 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 da. You could have been, like, no, there, there could have been a, a different way to go about it. You know? I really don't care what she says. The thing is, I want her to learn. Communication is very important to me. Communication is extremely important to me. So, hey, communicate so that people understand clearly what you're saying. Because a lot of the things that people say is because of miscommunication. So you think I'm checking her when I'm really protecting her. Hey, baby girl, don't misspeak. Make sure people understand what you're saying so they don't take what you say out of context. It's not checking her at all. Because what you guys fail to realize is that every single thing we do is pretty much monitored. They clip it up and, oh, we got them now. So it's called protecting her, right? And what you guys don't see is they hit up her friends. They hit up her family. They be like, oh, she said this. Oh, she said this. No, communicate very clearly. They're... Most of you guys in here are so awesome, but there's a few people, maybe 100, maybe 50, maybe 20 people that will clip up something, make it seem like something that is not, and then go to friends, family, and try to, like, do whatever with it. I don't know why they do that, but they is. So it's, it's called, like, protecting them, right, which is what a man is supposed to do. I'm supposed to look out for their well-being, right? You guys only see this. You guys don't know what we deal with behind the scenes, Yep, but my question, okay, I don't, I don't think you understand, like, you guys understand my question. My question is, okay, for the females, okay, this is just for the females. Do you guys have things where it's like, because it seems like he's, he's very outspoken about things that he doesn't like you guys doing, or you guys have to ask for permission, this, that, and the third. Is there things you guys expect for him to do as well? Like, hey, you have to, like, do you know how you guys, he says you guys have to ask me, da, da, da. do you guys set boundaries within you guys' own relationships? Like, hey, Sean. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I, I trust my man to literally be the greatest he can be because I know that because he has done it every single freaking day. And I'm not going to tell a man how to be a man. I'm not going to lead a man. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Um, I trust in his ability to lead himself to greatness. I am going to support him. I'm going to uplift him. I'm going to empower him. I'm going to support him in any way I can. But other than that, no, no. If I feel a certain way about something, I communicate with him and, hey, this made me feel a certain way. Boom, boom, boom. And we figure out how we can improve from there on. But for the most part, no. I'm not going to tell him how to act. Okay. Because... Because he is the exact, he's going to be a greater version of who he is right now since I've met him. So it's like, if I didn't want to be with him in the get go, then I would have, I would not be with him. It's not like he's like another different person. Yeah. Okay. So you say, so what I gathered is you're basically not going to tell him how to act like a man and how to act wrong, correct? I'm not, no, no, no. It's, well, I'm not going to try to change him i'm in the beginning i was with him for who he is and i'm mm -hmm. still going to be with him for who he is and who he continues to grow as i'm not going to want to change him if i want to change him i shouldn't be with him so i'm never going to ask him to change who he is i i love the way that he is that's why i'm with him Okay, but you can set boundaries without asking your partner to change, though. Like, there's there could be things that he does that you just are like, yo, that's so off-putting. Yeah, I just I don't like that. You know what? Communicate, correct. Okay. Yeah, I just communicate um, that. Okay, and then Shanice, I have a question. So, mm -hmm. every time someone asks you, like, hey, with Olivia not being, like, bye, um, mm -hmm. were you okay with that? And then you say, yeah, I was, like, I'm fine with it. And, like, First off, y'all need to get a new word. If I hear dynamic and 
assets one more time it's like you guys aren't explaining dynamic or assets it's just i feel like those are filler words for you guys so when you say she is an asset to you guys how is she an asset like what person because what personal gain is there from bringing another female why can't you guys build generational wealth just you two Okay, so when you say you two, you mean me and Shanice or me and Olivia? No, yeah, yeah. Like before, you guys brought in Olivia. Like, why? Why did you need to add like? Mm -hmm. Yes. So in the same way that I can build generational wealth with my love, how much generational wealth do you think we'd be able to build with seven queens? Okay, so you're saying she's an asset, correct? What do you mean by she's an asset? She brings her, like, her character, her, um, her drive. She has her own business. Uh, and she invests in her deals. Okay. And, but then how, okay. So that is beneficial to Sean and her relationship. But how is that beneficial to you? Like, how does, how you is that an asset to you? Our deal, all of it. It's all of our deals. We're investing okay. together. But so I'm asking when, you. To seven different queens, you have seven different incomes. So you're able to invest into bigger deals. Bringing in more passive income to have a, like, to build more freedom for yourself and further generations. Okay. And then, um, Sean, this is my question. This one is to you, okay? Um, you, you seem a little rowdy already. I'm... I don't like people barking at me or people talking crazy to me. So I'm showing you respect. I would appreciate if you give me the same energy back, okay? If something offends you, I would like for you to communicate and say, hey, I don't like that. Don't ask me that, okay? So my question what do you, what to do you, you feel, is... Yeah, 100% respect that. What do you feel like I have said to you that was so offensive? No, it's your tone, though. It's the way you're coming off. Because if I was talking to you like that, you know that, that you would be like... I mean, I think the way you're talking to us and trying to tell us how to live, their, live our life is very disrespectful. But that's just me. I never said how to live your life. I'm just asking. That's exactly today. what you try to tell us to do. How to handle things, how to handle problems, and how to communicate with each other. That's what you've okay. been doing this whole time. Well, go ahead. Okay. Okay. That's okay. With you made that statement. Can you give me an example of when I did that? Telling her that she needs to confront me and check me. Why don't you check your man? I never like, said confront you. I said, what do you confront him? It was. Listen, I'm not going to. Oh, I'm not going to argue. The wrong so way. If, if, if you want to be right, you can be right. So, what's your question? Her. Okay, my question for you was, okay, so you wanted to, you knew Shanice was bi, correct? And you went and got into a relationship with a girl that wasn't bi. So, in a way, it wasn't beneficial to her, it was just beneficial to you, which seems a little bit selfish, but to each their own, okay? Okay. But, but let, me, you let, say, me, let me, let me, let me, let me just say this. Shanice, how many followers do you have on TikTok? Oh, it's 2,000. On oh, TikTok. TikTok. Oh, uh, over 111,000. All right. How many you got on Instagram? About almost 10,000. How many followers were me and you? How long were we dating? Uh, we're dating over a year when I got back. How many TikTok followers did you have by yourself when me and you were dating? 100,000. All right. So she gained 110,000. Influence is a very powerful thing. Shanice has a very beautiful spirit. Maybe she's not selling something now, but what if one day down the line, she does want to sell something? She does want to create a product to help women. Would you not say that giving her a platform to help women is an asset, is something that she gained from this relationship? Yes or no? I wasn't done with my question though. Yes or no? Um, no. So you feel like somebody gaining hundreds of thousands of followers is not an asset, is not a gain. Is that correct? Okay, you can have followers. What does that mean, though? Bruh, you got it. Go ahead. Okay, so what's my question, basically? Like, it, so, it's so funny how you just feel the need to be right that you can't even look at logic. Like, you will literally sit up here and say that 2 plus 2 doesn't equal 4 because it doesn't follow, like, your argument. That, that's the thing. You're, you feel like your feelings dictate reality. I just showed you literally how somebody went from a thousand to over a hundred thousand followers. But that had you nothing to do with the you question. Said that's I was literally about to ask not, you said that's literally not a benefit. Like, no, but do you want me to be honest? With all due that respect, was not right, relevant to anything, no though. Sense. You you make no okay. sense. Okay. All right. 
right. like this isn't even like a logical like conversation at this point anymore well it respect. isn't you're just saying random stuff because i had nothing to do you didn't even let me finish you're my question though you just cut me off straight away yeah <laughs> But if we're going to say 2 plus 2 equals 22 today, or 2 plus 2 equals 24 today, because, you know, my feelings, like, that's just not, that's not real, right? So if we're going to have a logical conversation, let's have a logical conversation, all right? Hot gal factory. Hello? 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 Hey, how are you? Oh, can you see me? Nope. Um, I'm going to send you a camera invite. Okay. Okay. All right, camera invite is sent. Press the three dots, um, turn on your camera, and then press save. Okay. There you go. Hello. How you doing? What's your name? Where are you from? My name's Angel. I'm from Mississippi. Ooh. Yep. Nice. Oh, how did you find us? Just scrolling on TikTok. <laughs> I'm up on me. the recommended on lives. Okay. Um, my questions are, are mainly for Sean today. Go ahead. Okay, okay. first I wanna I wanna ask about where you're living at. So when you say you moved in there two years ago, did you furnish it yourself or was it already furnished? I furnished it myself. You furnished it yourself. Okay, so the bookshelf and all the books and everything you bought, like you collected all that yourself, right? Yes. Actually, she okay. bought the bookshelf for me. And believe it or not, she actually built the bookshelf. Yep. Uh, the books, those are mine. She bought the bookshelf for me because that's what women do. A woman take a house and make it a home. Women are the, they multiply everything. So she actually got the bookshelf for me as a gift. Okay. All right. Uh, do you rent out your apartment? No, I do not rent out my apartment. Have, have you seen it on Pierce Space or whatever? Sure. Do I have clients in my place? Absolutely, because I, when I mentor somebody, I'm a real mentor. I'll do everything in my power to help somebody change their life. Exactly. So I am a real person. I'm not the guy that's going to sell you a course. I'm the guy that's going to be like, yo, you you crushing it. You're doing great things. Come to my place. Let's chop it up. Let's mastermind. Let's create content. Let's create ideas. Let's do stuff because I want to really see you change your life. That's just the type of guy I am. So I've invited so many people into my home to try to help them. I know it's so crazy, y'all are not willing to do that, but the same way people message me and I tell them about mentorship and they actually are talking to me, I'm just a real dude. That's just how I am, that's how I'm always gonna be. So yes, you'll see all type of people that have been to my place. A lot of those people are my students. A lot of those people are people that I've mentored. Like, what's so hard about that? Okay, I just asked a simple question. So my question <laughs> is referring to the TikTok that I, I saw before I got on here today. To uh, a man, I guess inside of the same, he looked like he was for he looked like he was in front of your bookshelf. He looked like he was basically inside the same house. Y'all have the same paintings. Uh -huh. Y'all have do you know who I'm talking about? I know exactly who you're talking about. His name is Eddie Garcia, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to go on my Instagram and I want you to go and look at my testimonials. And what you're going to see is I taught this guy how to make a hundred thousand dollars in 30 days. Perfect. You're going to see literally him singing rent, ranting and raving about me. And then if you don't believe that, go message him yourself and ask him about Sean Adams because I am raw. I'm real. I'm transparent. When I tell somebody I'm going to help you change your life, I'm going to do everything in my power to help you change your life. That's how I am. That's how I'm always going to be. So you're going to see plenty of people who do, do stuff with me. 
you're gonna see, you're gonna continue to see that because that's just the type of guy that I am. I'm not like these other gurus who just wants to get rich. Um, me, I actually want to help people change their life. I want to help give them strategy to change their life. My personal mentorship, like if somebody to do business like what Eddie got, that was a lot of money. I help people who want to build big businesses, who want to do big things. But I'm going to do everything in my power to help you. I'm not just going to sell you some course. That's not me. A lot of other people, hey, I give you free game. I give you this. I, give, I, give, I try to help as much people as I possibly can. That's just me. I don't get nothing from it. You guys see me do giveaways. You guys see me do all this type of stuff because I'm all about positively impacting people. I tell you guys, if you're not trying to build a million dollar business, I'm not going to like mentor you, like period. Okay. So I guess my next question will be referring to, I guess you're saying you wanted seven whys because it will be an asset to you, correct? Would you say that's an incorrect statement? That's a completely incorrect statement. Okay, so then let me get a little bit more of your understanding before I ask my question then. Why, why did you say you want seven wives? Go ahead and answer the question. Okay, so do you just see women as a monetary value to you? Because just like y'all said, y'all brought Olivia in because she was an asset to you. So do you just see women as assets or? Women, a woman is the greatest asset that any man can have. A queen is the most powerful ch ch chess piece on the board. So with that being said, any guy that doesn't see the value of a queen to me is an idiot. I, if I'm building, I would much rather build with queens than like build with like my guys. Because guys, we have egos. Ego is a cool thing, but it also can be like our downfall. So with that being said... I do feel like queens are assets, but I feel like a woman's value lies more within spiritually protecting her man. Me personally, I feel like women allow you, a man, to focus. They come with greater ideas. They see things that guys couldn't see. They think of things guys would have never thought of. They have intuition. They have insight. They have intelligence. Who wouldn't want to be? Why would I not want to partner with somebody that's smart and beautiful and vicious and like wants to do epic things. Why would I not do that? Come on now. Of course. I get that. I get that. But the fact that you want seven of them, it kind kind of to me sounds like you want your own little little bodyguards or a little army of seven women a around you to protect you, just like you said. You wanted them to come and protect you and friends, give you. I, if I wanted bodyguards, if I wanted seven bodyguards, I would just hire some bodyguards. Come on now, stop. I'm just asking. I mean, but you're getting more out of a woman than you are seven men, right? Listen, you're getting sexual pleasure. You're getting, you're getting you're getting their money. You're you're basically getting, getting everything you want. Who's 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 money am I taking? I don't need a woman's money. What are you talking about? I make my own. Well, money. you said Olivia was an asset to you, and she brought in her own businesses and her and her own things. And would you not say that that's adding to you and your money as well? What? Would you not say that Olivia coming into the relationship, bringing her businesses along with her money that's coming right. with her businesses is let not me, an asset let me, to let me, let, me, let me break this all the way down for you. All right, I think this will eliminate the confusion. Have you ever heard of, you know, um, the hierarchy of needs? No. So the hierarchy of needs is literally just a concept of somebody reaching their highest potential. We all have basic needs as humans, food, water, mm -hmm. shelter. Would you agree with that? Yes or no? Yes, I agree. And then a, 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 another level, we people want to be loved, people want to be accepted, social acceptance. That's another need. Sex is also a basic need as well. What am mm -hmm. I saying? At the top is self-actualization, people being their highest self. You can't go up self-actualization if your basic needs are not met. A lot of dudes don't reach their potential because they're going around trying to mess with all these girls, trying to fill a need. When you get a woman, she literally fulfills all your needs. She helps you eat. She helps you sleep. She protects you spiritually. I would hope that you have sex with the person that you're spending your life with, right? Mm -hmm. And um, that allows you to focus on your mission. Right. A lot of dudes get distracted when they're in a relationship. They're addicted to like the corn on the cob. They are looking at other girls like going crazy. They're doing all this type of stuff because their basic needs are not being met. 
men are not supposed to really be with one woman like that. They're just not. So that's why you see a guy with a girl and guys know what I'm talking about. They're looking around like, man, every time they see it, it's like, hey, like, wow. Their basic needs are not being met. So for me, why I discovered polygyny and why I got into it, it allowed me to focus more on my mission because my basic needs are being met. I'm not lacking anything. I can focus on my mission, which is helping people. Right. Okay. And because I'm so much more focused on my mission when it comes to helping people at this point, it's just all about partnering with women that can help me expand my vision, help me, you know, um, you know, bring me ideas, different things like that. Right. We kind of like pour into each other because everybody knows whatever you give to a woman in concentrated form, she's going to multiply it and give it back to you. You give her some love. She's going to multiply, and give it back to you. You give her life, which is like a sperm. She's going to multiply it and give you a baby. You give her food. She's going to give you a dinner. You give her a house. She's going to give you a home. Okay. You well, then let me B- ask you hold this. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. You give her some BS. She's going to give you a lot of BS. Right. So whatever you give to a woman, she's going to multiply and give it back to you. So if I have seven queens and I'm giving them all love and and drive and ambition, and, and what do you think I'm going to get in return? Okay, but then since you since you let's go back to where you said dudes are chasing this and that because they're not being fulfilled at home. What is Olivia giving you that Shanice is not giving you? And what is Shanice giving you that Olivia's not giving to you? And great, what do you think that five other women are gonna give to you that question. one woman can't the, give to you? The, that's a great question. The beautiful thing about our relationship is that a woman doesn't have to do everything. Shanice is more like the the traditional woman takes care of me feeds me, make sure our place is good. Don't get me wrong, Olivia cooks as well, but most of that protecting me and just being my woman is like falls upon Shanice. Uh, Olivia, she's a great woman as well, but she also has been studying under a Forbes 50 under 50 uh, entrepreneur pretty much for the last three years. So she knows a lot about paperwork. She knows a lot about, you know, how to set up entities. She knows a lot about you know, um, different strategies when it comes to like helping businesses run more efficiently. She's an organizational genius. She's a creative wizard, right? So she gives me ideas. She helps me with the business. Um, and Shanice does as well. Shanice allows me to like focus. You know so what I mean? It's, so it sounds like you have Shanice for the mother aspect of your needs and you have Olivia for the business aspect of your needs. I'm not here to place anybody in a box. I'm just saying that's what their particular strengths are. Shanice gives me business ideas. Olivia makes sure I'm good as well. Olivia cooks as well. So like it's not one or the other. It's just people just have different strengths and different weaknesses and it's mainly shaped by their experiences. Do, would you say that I could learn a lot from somebody who learned from a Forbes 50 under 50 entrepreneur for what, was it three, two years? Two years. She was uh, mentoring a bunch for two to three years. So it's just like, well, what do you expect? Of course, I'm like, she's going to have dreams that I don't have. Well, I can learn a lot from a lot of people, just like you're you're having people come up to you and, and ask to learn from you. Correct. So why do you think that you have to be in a relationship with these people to learn from them? Can't you have one wife that satisfies your needs at home? While still uh, learning from me other personally, people me and not being in a relationship no, with me them? personally, me personally, no, I, I, one woman could not satisfy all of my needs. But it's not about my queens not being enough. It's about the fact that fundamentally, men and women are different. And the reason why we get so many girls that are upset is because women are built to be, in my opinion, not all. Most women are built to be monogamous. They don't want to be with multiple guys. I put it to you like this: If you ask a hundred married couples, if you ask the girl, "Hey, you can have another man." But and your husband knows about it, would you do it? You know, most women are going to be like, "Nah, I'm cool." If they're in a happy marriage, if you have, go ahead, and, if you in a, if you in a real, if you ask men, "Hey, you can have another woman," and your wife knows about it and she's cool, you know, ninety nine percent of men are going to be like, "Hell yeah, I've been waiting." So it's a difference. They both are in love. They both are in a happy relationship. But why is the man going to say yes and the woman's going to say no? Men and women are different. Society tries to tell you. Oh, we're all the same. If men does it, women should do it too. And that's not what I'm saying. I think men and women just have different roles. Does that mean a woman can't be a CEO? No, that's not what I'm saying. But I know this. Only women can bring life into this world. Not men. So would you say that men are like that because men are more led by their more lustful than women and women are more there for a genuine connection? No, I think it's just I think it's just um, a very like biological thing i mean mm-hmm. a man makes 30 million sperm every day a woman releases one egg every month 30 men can populate the entire planet 
So I think that's just how it is. And women don't want to be with every guy. Let's be honest. Most guys are invisible to women. Like, guys, girls want the best guy that they can get. It's always been that way. It's always going to be that way. And I don't personally see nothing wrong with it. Cause okay, guy, so what... So honestly, my question is, in your head, what's the difference between you wanting seven women inside of your relationship and random and dudes that are just out there having sex with random women every day or cheating that's on their girlfriends? Great, what's, that's what's a the great question. That's a great question. Are the two people... I mean, are the people that's having random sex, are they building together? I wouldn't know. I'm not in everybody's relationship. All right. Well, I just don't think a lot of girls have ever sat down with a guy and the guy was like, yo, how can we retire your mom in the next six months? I don't think most women have ever been asked that question. Sneaky links are not asking that question. I, personally, I, I, I personally don't know a lot of girls that have been asked that question. Like, yo, how can we make sure you get most dudes or just like, oh, you got a fatty? Let's, oh, yeah, I'm trying to hit that. That's it. I, I, I guess what I'm really trying to get at is it just really, to me, from the outside looking in, it just seems like you're on a power trip, personally. It seems like you're trying to get seven women to boost your ego or or. And not only just your ego, but also to play with the income, too. Because, I mean, let's be let's be for real. Who doesn't want a lot of money? But you're trying to use it and say that you're using them for for benefits because everybody brings something different. Listen, like, honestly, it just sounds like it I, honestly just I, sounds like you're just trying to please yourself at the end I, of the day. I appreciate, you. I appreciate you. But like with all due respect, you don't know my reality. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to smash a different girl every single day, I literally could do that Can with ease. If you saw what my DMs look like, you wouldn't even believe it. The level, dude, I'm talking to girls that are up on the highest echelon of beauty. Girls that are straight 12 out of 10s. Okay? Every single day. If I wanted to, if I was undisciplined, bro, most dudes in my spot, bro, in my position, would that. not know how to act. Period. And so many times, the, the thing is this, you guys will never understand that because you guys have never dated a guy that actually had options. Like, you, you guys, and I'm not trying to say I'm all that. That's, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying I'm in a position what most guys could never dream of. They could never relate. Like, they could never relate. And I would honestly say a guy like me choosing to be in a relationship is way different because I actually, if I wanted to, go out and do all these different things, I could. I don't have sex outside of my relationship. These are the only two women that I'm messing with until I add an, a, another girlfriend who eventually turns into a queen. That's it. I feel like I'm very okay. okay. So this is my last question so I get off here. And I keep everybody bored. Uh, you said three years ago you were homeless. Correct? Being around the time of 2020? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, 2020, wouldn't you also, and then you said you, you were rich in what, six months? I mean, sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Isn't that the same time that everybody was taking out all those PPP loans? Yeah. And, but do you, and you, could you listen? Could you listen? Do you know the qualification to even get a PPP loan? It was pretty easy. I, I, I'm aware. So I had some, what, I had some family how, members indulge in the foolishness. So, I know how so easy it was. Me, let me get this straight. You think that I'm still surviving today off of a PPP loan that I took out in 2020. Is that correct? No, you could take the money and invest in other things and survive off that over the years. Yes. All right. Like what? How much, how much do people get on a PPP loan? I mean, it was people taking out all types of money from 10,000 to over how hundreds much? of thousands. How, how I'm telling you from yeah, 10,000 no, to over I, hundreds I of thousands. That, that First of all, I didn't even have an LLC at that time and you needed an LLC for at least two years. You needed an LLC for at least two years to my understanding to even qualify for that. Two, I wasn't even thinking about that. Why is it so hard to say that, hey, somebody committed to a skill for six months and learned to make 20,000 a month. You guys can go and sell solar and commit to that for six months and be making $20,000 a month. It's not that hard. All you gotta do is commit to one skill. The beauty is everything works. All you gotta do is commit to something. It is not that hard. We brought a lady on who made like fifteen thousand dollars in like ten minutes. Yes, mm -hmm. it's not that hard to make money. Amen. But see, you guys gotta have more room in your heart to hustle rather than hate. 
You guys get so mad and so irritated off of somebody who has never asked you guys for a dime. You guys have seen giveaways. You guys have seen us help business owners. You guys have seen us help single moms. And all you guys have to do is to hate them. And we always just try to give you guys free information. We've never asked anybody here for a single dime. And you guys get so infuriated. Why is that? Oh, I'm not mad. I'm not, I'm not ever okay. mad about anything you got so going on. You, done, why, it doesn't affect you, my life in any way, shape, or form. Why do you try to, like, disprove so much? Like, I wasn't trying to, to disprove. I was asking a question. Uh, but why, though? Because you invite people over here to ask questions, don't you? But you're not even talking about the relationship. You're talking about me. I'm asking. Y'all Y'all are individuals in a relationship. Everybody is an individual. At the, end of the day, at the end of the day, you need to stop swimming in Denial River. I'm going to get you a towel so you can dry off, <laughs> come to reality, and stop being a hater. I am not good, Olivia good and Denise. No, you're Your right. word salad is not going to affect me. <laughs> it's not going to affect me, sir. You can say everything that you, you want to say. You, you can try question? to use these, these you manipulative question? tactics, but it's not going to work on me, sir. I, I yeah. understand you're getting frustrated, and that's a, yeah. that's a cue in denial. That's mm -hmm. a cue in denial. I'm not upset. All right. Do you have any other questions? No, I don't have any other questions. Y'all yeah, have a great finish. night. You gotta no, I'm a government employee, sir. You have a great oh, night. Okay. Well, can, can you continue doing your thing? See ya. I, I will. I will. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know how to leave. Can somebody help me? I got Please. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Bro, it's so funny how people just literally like. They be saying so. I know, bro. They really like, they just, just be it's, saying it's, it's so. It's hard to believe that somebody just committed to being successful and like made a change. Like, yeah. you guys can make such a big change, man. Somebody that, if you're watching this and you like overweight right now, you know you want to get in shape, commit to your goal for a year and see what happens. Literally. It's not that hard. Eat right, exercise. But it's not that hard. Anyways, listen, man, if you guys got more heart room in your heart to hate, I mean, to hustle rather than to hate, if you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. All right, DM me free game. All right, it's the one with the blue check. I only got one account. Um, 700 plus credit score, DM me free game, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. I'll never ask you for money. I'll never ask you for your credit card. Just want to give you guys legit strategy that you guys can take, implement into your life so you can take care of your family, take care of your community, take care of your church. All right? So, with that being said, DM me uh, on Instagram. Free game, okay? If you got a 700 plus credit score. What up, what up, what up? Hey. hey. Um, What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Tola, and I'm from Maine. That's a beautiful name. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. So, it's just, you know, I've been here for a while, so just had a couple things. Um, it's so like Olivia. Um let me uh, so you know you're 20 i'm 20 oh she left Give no she's right here oh, okay i was gonna see you baby um so i just want to i just want to say i think i think you're uh very beautiful you know uh you you continue you get like um you know you catch you, you be catching strays um sometimes but um you know you're 20 i'm 20 so Yo, wait are, what are you okay am i okay yeah like are you nervous right now no. Okay. Okay. Well, um, anyway, besides that, I have a question for, like, Shanice. Mm-hmm. So, it's, like, um, just, like, in general, like, a general question. Do you uh -huh. think that, because, you know, like, I'm 20, do you think that it's okay for a 20-year-old girl and, like, a 30-year-old man to just be in a relationship, just, like, period? I feel like adults will make adult decisions because they're an adult so regardless of whether i was here or not if olivia wanted to be romantically involved with my love she would be okay so there's like okay so there's nothing wrong with that well i mean like it makes sense that you wouldn't find anything wrong with that anyway it's just that sometimes when you answer the question you do go like you know you have your relationship with sean and then there's the relationship mm -hmm. with olivia and sean and it's almost like absolving you of any responsibility because at the end of the day you are inside of like a domestic relationship also with <laughs> Olivia like within like the same space so mm -hmm. um that's why I think I think you're beautiful too I'm kind of sad that I can't see you to the camera right now but that's um besides the point anyway so with um Sean I was here earlier and um 
I heard you with like the PPP loan. And I just want to say like in general, like it's kind of spreading misinformation to say you need an LLC. Cause if you file a 1040 tax form, then you can get a PPP loan. And I'm not saying that you got a PPP loan, but I'm saying that you're able to get one. Like, All right. Well, listen, man, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that information. Hmm. Um, hmm. Anything else you want to say? Yes. I do have um, another like question for you. Um, when like so you were homeless three years ago how long have you had your business that you have now what's the relevance of this question i'm just asking how long have you had what, do, what is the what is the relevance of this question man I've, I've honestly had enough for you guys like all you guys literally hate on somebody that i never <laughs> asked you guys for a dime Sean, like, I'm, it's, I'm not. It, it's just getting played out man like come on like it's just honestly like played out so like what, what what's the point of you asking this question Okay, well, all I was gonna say is because you're you're a success coach, right? Listen, just go ahead, like, babe. just here, yeah. here, just here. I'm just Goodbye. asking. Goodbye. Goodbye. Like, yeah, I don't even. Oh man. That is funny that she put her hoodie behind her ears. Yeah, know, bro. people are weird. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, and you came ready with the camera. I Love did. That. I was ready to go. What's your name? Where are you from? My name's Haley, and I am from New Mexico. Mm. Are, are you a content tonight? creator? I uh, know one of my videos popped off in 2020, and that was it. Mm. I just I just saw the good lighting. That's all. No, <laughs> I'm doing homework. <laughs> okay. Got so first of all, I want to answer mm -hmm. the question that's presented above. Would young professional women, would we be in a relationship? No. I do have a question for Sean. My questions are not business related. They are completely relationship wise. What's Sean, the... do you, do you believe in science? Science? Science. Yes. You believe in science? Okay. Scientifically, polygamy does not work. Okay. The statistics presented on women and children who go through polygamy, it is completely, it is, they go through depression, they go through mental illnesses. I know you are not one for psychology work, but that's what I'm going to school for. I'm actually a month older than Olivia and I'm in, Question for in my you. master's program. Question for you. Sure. What percentage of depressed women are in a polygynous relationship in America? Because there's a lot of depressed women in America. Actually, depression and anti-anxiety medication is at an all-time high, which is funny because women make more money than ever. But they're more unhappy than ever. So what percentage of them, of those depressed women, are in a polygynous relationship? Mm, globally, 2%. I said in I America. All I right, cannot so answer for America globally. Right. In America. Go ahead. So 2% of the, all the depressed women in the world are in a polygynous relationship. All right, go ahead. That is not what I said. That's exactly what you said, but go ahead. I said the statistics are up. I said 2% are in the world that are in a polygynous relationship. Go ahead. Polygamist, I should say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Another one of my questions being... Why is it that each of the girls are unhappy on certain days? Olivia went through it today. Shanice just started feeling better. I tuned into Shanice's Get Ready With Me earlier, and she was feeling great. On here, she stares. She's, you can tell she's upset. Really? No, I'm just waiting for someone to ask me a question. I'm chilling. My man's actually in the army, Miss Shanice, so I want to thank you for your service. Thank you for uh, your support. Well, did you, I'm sorry, did you finish your statement? I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 no. I was waiting for Sean. Just to clarify, I'm not upset. I'm Gucci. Yeah, and I'm Gucci. Gucci too. Are you sure, Miss Olivia? Because you seem to be going through it. I'm not. Wow. I'm okay. Not. 
Well, that's all I wanted to ask was if Sean really believed in science because statistically, this does not work. Have you guys ever seen the show Sister Wives? No. Is that, a, is, uh, is that using science too? No, but I'm using statistics and I'm using relevancy in American standards. When you, oh, say, polygamy, when you say polygamy, because there's a lot of components of it, what component of um, polygamy doesn't work? Because I know in the polyamorous world, it's a 92% failure rate, but that's because women are often sleeping with other men, which everybody knows that's doomed to fail. But in a polygynous relationship, actually polygynous relationships have an 82% success rate. And we practice polygyny, which is one man, multiple women. So please explain to me where you get your study so from and what what my relevancy was what my relevancy was why i asked about sister wives because majority of the polygyny relationships come from mormon religion in america yeah they are mormons who practice all being married to one man there is a show called escaping Polyg polygamy if you guys would check it out do some research right. we don't want cd I'm just checking on the girls, honestly, because it's sad. This is a daily routine. One of them is frequently upset, and you can deny it, but body language doesn't lie. Science doesn't lie. Sean, can I have your attention, please? Yeah, give me one second. It's just funny, because whenever you say, can we have your attention, and we ask you. have my attention now. Like, I have a life outside of live, so like, be, be curious. You have my attention now. Like, That's funny because you guys go live every single night. Okay, but do we do it twenty-four hours? We got a life outside of live every single night. So, with that being said, what's your question? I already asked you my question. I'm still waiting on your elaboration of it. Do you believe well, in science, you and if so, how can this relationship flourish? Yeah. So I feel like any man. Any man that leads a relationship has to be a strong leader. If you can't lead yourself to success, you can't lead others. So I don't know about the men in those relationships. I personally, I know a lot of men that should not be in relationships, in my opinion. And I know because I used to be that guy trying to lead a relationship when I couldn't even lead myself. It was a recipe for disaster. If I couldn't lead myself to success, how can I lead a family to success? Exactly. But how well, can you think, lead a family to success? I don't think you should compare me to most men because I'm just like, nah, most men, respectfully. How can you lead a family to success when there's multiple people involved in it and you cannot contribute all your time to them? How can you do what? You said you were talking about leadership and you said, how can I be a man that's successful when I can't even lead? Well, how are you going to lead if you cannot, you know? provide your time. Why would I not be able to provide my time? You said you want seven queens, right? You want each of them to have a kid. That's 14 people you have to look over. If you are at work, what time do you usually get out of work in the day? Let me ask you a question. If, as far as the kids, if I have seven queens and none of them work a job, do you think it may be possible that one of them is available to watch the kids. Yeah, At but do you moment. just All right, so the mother, if the mother. But you're somebody, diverting. Do or, you just expect to never spend somebody, time with your kids? Or somebody that they really trust is there. Why would that be an issue? As a matter of fact, there are so many people that have seven kids and it's only one mom. Imagine if you have seven kids and you only have to take care of that responsibility one day a week because you have teamwork you have people that you can trust that are willing to help you that are willing to watch your kids at any time so hey we got seven queen seven day of the week guess what you only got to watch the kids one day a week you got six this is days funny, Sean. Oh, this is hold funny. On, hold on, this hold is on, funny on. because no 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 no, no. you've been ladies. speaking so for let me ladies. speak for, for the ladies you get six days of absolute Freedom, where you can work on your business, we can spend quality time together, you can go and whatever you want to do, you got six days because you got help. That to mm -hmm. me sounds way better than raising seven kids with one man and one woman. But what yeah. I'm asking you, for you to not divert this time, is how are you going to contribute your time to your kids? 
the same way any dad with seven kids will contribute his time to them. So you're going to come home to all seven. You're going to have all seven of your queens plus your girlfriends living in one house? Girlfriends probably won't live with me. Queens will. Okay, so you're going to have... How big of a house are we talking? At that point, I'll be able to buy anything I want. Okay, and when is this time fragment going to happen? Who knows? Like, that's not, like, my focus right now. I'm focusing on how can I be the best version of myself today. Let me ask you a question. Do you, do you, do you want to be, do you want to be, like, what, what are some of your goals in life? I told you I'm 20. I'm in my master's program to become a forensic psychologist. Hey, congrats. Yeah. Very Thank smart. You, you watch you. CSI and Criminal Minds? I do. Yeah, those are good <laughs> shows. Those are good shows. Mm -hmm. Um... With that being said, what exactly are your goals like with life? So I know like that's awesome, master's degree. I, I have no degree, can't even spell degree. What exactly are you looking to do like in your life? What are your life's goals? To become a forensic psychologist. I, t I also mentioned that I'm that's a your, man. That's your, that's your only goal in life? Mm, I might want kids. I can't make that right. decision where, right now, only where being are you 20. Forensic, where are you going to be a forensic psychologist at? I don't even know. I don't even right, know because so me and my man, we this, move let around. Me this straight. Let me get this straight. You know you want to be a forensic psychologist, but you don't know where you want to be a forensic psychologist at? No, because the license procedures are different in multiple states. Right now, yes. we could be yeah. in Alabama. We could stay in New yeah. Mexico. We're looking to move yeah. to Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. You see, how, you see how you're stern on your vision, but you're flexible on your journey? I'm right. the same way. My vision is seven queens, and I'm flexible on how I get there. But you guys ask me questions that I don't want to say they're irrelevant, but they're irrelevant. It's the same way when I ask you, hey, you want to be a forensic criminal psychologist or a forensic, whatever that is, um, how are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? You're like, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but this is the goal. And it's the You're same deflecting, way I'm Sean. No, 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 I'm, no, no. I'm having I'm a deflecting. respectful conversation with you, and I would appreciate if you answer my questions the same way I, you're, I'm answering yours. He is answering the question. He is literally answering the You just, the at question. this point, you just don't want to see what you want to see. Like, your goal is to be a criminal forensic, like, psychologist. That what you said? Mm-hmm. Okay, but you're asking so you me about a destination. Oh, I'm oh, asking oh, oh, oh. you about platforms. Yes, it's the same concept. You guys got to stop looking at the mechanics and start looking at the principles. The genius is in the principles, not the mechanics. Okay, so hey, you guys got to listen. Verbatim. So why thing. does here's my wait, wait. here's the thing, man? You guys got to look at the principles. You are stubborn on your vision. That's your target. You are flexible on how you get there. Whether it's Colorado, Alabama, Tennessee, Virginia, whatever it may be. There, you are flexible on how you get there, but you want to get there. It's the same way with me. Listen, I do not have it all figured out. Maybe all my queens will live with me. Maybe they all won't. Maybe I'll have kids with them all. Maybe I won't. What if I get with a queen and she don't want kids? There's so many, like, variables. variables. But the point is, I'm going to have seven beautiful queens, mm -hmm. and we're going to do a lot of good for the community. That's it. And that's, that's wonderful. But what I'm saying is you are deflecting. What okay. I ask is concepts of destination. What you're talking about are ideas and future plans that will be cool. raised. What's the destination? Considering you what's already the, have two what, people on the, the side of what's you. The what's the destination that you're asking me about? Because to hold me, on, hold it's, on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. I'm being very respectful and I'm hearing you out and I would appreciate if you would hear me out completely. Go ahead. So mine is a lot smaller than yours. The gratitude of it is completely different. Mine is a destination. I know what I want to do no matter where I go. Yours is life changing because multiple people will be depending on you financially, emotionally, psych psychologically. And it's so much different with children than it is with your seven beautiful queens. Those kids are neurologically going to be attached to you. And if you cannot provide the you time and effort. You are a classic example of somebody who has a lot of education, but not a lot of intellect. If you can't see the parallels, and I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just trying to tell you to open your No, that mind. was insulting. People are going it, to be counting on, count on you too, because you're going to be solving crimes. You're going to be helping bring justice to people who have lost family members.
home people, fathers, kids who have been literally you're going to be helping solve crimes to help kids, people who have lost their parents, people that have lost brothers, people that have lost aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, all of that. So you're going to be helping people, too. It's a lot of people involved in what you want to do as well. And that's what you're failing to realize. Go, babe, go. The thing is, it's the same thing. I have a destination. You have a destination. I'm fluid on how I get there. You're fluid on how you get there. Yeah. And you're trying to dress it up and make it seem like something that it's not. And this is why I say a lot of times people that be educated don't be intellectual. Because education, well, education and intelligence are two totally different things. Critical thinking skills. I know I sit up here and I act stupid. But I tell you guys, I have a 133 IQ. I'm about to be a part of the Mensa Society. Go and look that up. So with that being said, you guys got to learn to think out the box. Textbooks, read it. Big fancy words are cool. But if you cannot see how, hey, you have a destination and I have a destination and we're both fluid on how we get there, I don't know what to like tell you. If you can't see literally the parallels in that, I don't, I don't really know what to say. If you can't see the parallels between a metaphorical destination and a literal destination, then there's a problem with that. I think it's maybe you who doesn't have the intellect compared to the there you go with the big There you go with the big words again. Half I'm repeating, the, I'm, repeating I'm repeating the words that you just use. You compared intellect you to know. education. Listen, man, ask your, <laughs> ask your, ask your question. Go Olivia, ahead. we're the same age. If you don't remember what more metaphorical means from two years ago, then there's a problem. The if you're running your own business. Let me, ask you, let me ask you a question. How much did you get paid to remember what metaphorical means? Not, I'm not a lot. I'm working a part-time right. job. I'm going so to school. It, it, it's irrelevant, right? Just because you can, you know Pythagorean's theorem, it don't, it don't do nothing. It don't help you. Just because you know, you know the 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 a hundred digits on the the square root of pi it doesn't mean nothing, you know. Really, because it's seeming like your ego is taking a really big blow. I can see you huffing and puffing. I'm sure one of them is going to start rolling. No, I'm just, uh, back in I'm a just, second. I'm just honestly, a little disappointed because I like you. You're spunky. Yeah. You, I can tell you're going places. But I guess I just expected you to have critical thinking skills, especially if you're going to be like solving things. But it seems like you can only go by the book. You don't know how to. No, think outside no, of the box. no, no, no. I definitely do have critical thinking skills and I I apply them often. And that's why I know statistically that this won't work out. But you keep playing this game and when influencing say, people. Can I finish when you say, my statement? When you say this can I won't finish? Work out, what do you mean? We, yeah, but I, I want to know what you mean when you say this won't work out. What do you mean? Long term. Uh, if you would have heard, heard me out the first time, I'm not saying that this isn't working right now. I mean, if, if that's what makes you guys happy, that's what makes you guys happy. I'm not here to judge on your personal life, but I'm saying the numbers, the quality, the mental illnesses that come with it. Long term, it is going to be a difficult road. Yeah. And that's something that you this, want and you want is, to instill the, in your is, kids. This is the truth, though. Like... For me, I'm all about my mission. And for me, I only want a woman to be in my life because she and her heart feels like I'm the best man to help her reach her potential. Women are gonna come, women are going to go. But eventually, I will attract seven queens that are permanent and we're gonna inspire lots of people. If, if Shanice was to leave, and go do her own thing, I would not consider that a failure because she got nourishment while she was here. She gained followers, she gained strategy, she gained, you know, insight, she gained knowledge, she gained wisdom, she gained money, she gained a lot while she was here, right? If she wants to move on with her life, that's okay. I'm not into putting people into like a box. If you no longer, if this relationship no longer serves you, baby girl, leave and I'm gonna be happy for you, right? So that doesn't mean this failed because I'm still going to go and get another queen. I'm going to have seven queens. Eventually, I will attract the right pieces to the puzzle, and it'll be a fit. Like it, it, it's question. not a failure. It's not. A, it's not a failure. Like if I put no, 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 no. Absolutely, I think relationships can leave a big. I think relationships can leave a really big contribution on your life. Even from exes, you'll remember what you went through, and you'll learn to not make those mistakes again. It can better you. I definitely yeah. agree with you on that. But what but I'm saying is how it will be. If we're helping people all over the world and Shanice is growing every day and Olivia is growing every day and we're all growing today, how can it possibly be a failure? Hold on. 
I'm saying the dynamic is not going to stay together. And if you continue to add, add to it, and I'm not talking more queens, I'm talking children. It's going to tear people apart. That's going to be amazing, actually. I feel like my kids will have, I know my kids will have the best mental health because they're in an environment that's going to push them to their potential, that's going to grow them physically, emotionally, spiritually, and in every way possible. How can you not have a great mental state when all of that is being, you know, first of all, you're, you're being influenced by your parents that are doing great things, and you have the right habits that align with being mentally healthy. It's just like, it's not a hard equation. You do habits that make your mental health very good, then you're going to have good mental health. That is absolutely Absolutely. And I do like that you and Shanice are both vegan. I'm looking into being vegan myself because you guys are so health healthy and you guys made that change. It's like, I see the glow. I see the difference, right? But mm -hmm. there's a difference between mental health, like mental well-being, and financial well-being. You guys think because you have the money and the resources, and we know because you brag about it all the time, that your kids will be well taken care of. And that is not the truth. That is not the That's case. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that You said the atmosphere that they're in, the atmosphere that they're in will make them mentally stable and mentally well. How are their no, children going to be I'm mentally- No, I'm not saying that I'm going to spoil my kids, Ryan. I'm not saying I all that. Not, I, did not say that. I, I know, did not say that. I did not say that. I know, but I, I'm not saying that because we have so much money and they're in a you know mansion and you know we can provide them all of the, that, that they're going to be healthy. I'm saying that- we are going to grow to be in a space where we have the habits to be so well mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Therefore, we're going to have those habits and we're going to instill it into our kids. How can and a kid be fine. unhealthy if they have the habits of a mentally healthy person? Well, let's see what's considering what you guys are lacking now. The kids will be Collected. They will not get the quality time they need with both parents. I don't think you're and listening see, this to is, what this is what I I'm really saying. Don't this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying. And I say we are all what I am saying. We're only going to get healthier with our mental, spiritual, and emotional self. And I got another question. Well, see, that's got, that's funny. Think, hold on. Can I ask? Like a, can I ask got, mine on, real quick? On. Can I ask mine real quick? Because I didn't finish my statement after Olivia finished talking like a crystal ball how do you know we're gonna neglect our kids <laughs> literally because you guys don't even have enough time for seven queens how are That's you going to have time for children? children why do you okay hold on why do you think we're going so hard with our business with everything so we don't have kids we don't have any responsibility right now so shouldn't we be grinding to create a better future so we don't have to work so hard in the future doesn't that logically make sense <laughs> literally Right, right, right. And that would provide them with financial stability. No, with what we will have free time. <laughs> like we will have time because our business will be running by itself. We will have assets that's paying us. Therefore, all our job is to do is network, help the world and tend our time to our family. That's literally what we will we will have way more time than we do right now. I have another question on people, that. I have another people, question people on that. Both of you have been talking. Can I can I get a word in, please? Can yes, I get a word yes, in? But here's the thing. People don't go to be rich. We don't care about that. People care about freedom. freedom. When you have freedom, you can do what you want. Go ahead. How will you have freedom when you are tied to seven women and seven children and that's considering only seven of your wives have one child so you ask this to, to single moms too and you ask this to people in monogamous relationships that have four kids oh, how are you going to have freedom people have freedom while having families like well, what do you mean i guess it's just based on what you consider as freedom no i'm considering Yes, Ms. Shanice, can you? What do you consider uh, financial stability? Because financial you, you stability just... is making making sure your kids have everything that they need. I mean, you guys have a roof over your head. You have food in your pantry. You know, like making sure your child is financially taken care of. So, and you're saying with seven different women, we wouldn't, you don't believe that we would be able to provide that? 
No, 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 no. I say you guys would be. I'm saying you guys would be, absolutely. But that is your guys' main focus is financial stability and not emotional. If your child doesn't see its mother and father, mm-hmm. I mean, and, and dad is around. The, let me add, if dad let is me, not around, if dad is not add, around, why are there seven women in a relationship? Let me ask you a question. Can I go to my kids and be like, and feed them with emotional stability? Can I be like, hey, man, I know you're hungry, but... I don't got money, but I'm emotionally stable, so you know, <laughs> eat that. No, but how do you expect <laughs> to be? How do you expect to be the biggest, most well off family in America if you don't you even care for your kids? You didn't answer. That's a question. hypothetical. Who can, I, can I feed? Who can I feed with emotional stability? Nobody. But you All are right. focusing so, on the financial so, aspect. Would you say? Would you say? You got to get to a certain level to be able to take care of the basic needs, shelter, food, whatever that they may need sure. to survive. So sure. that before emotional stability, correct? Sure. I mean, you have to take okay. care of yourself why, to be able to take care why, of why, Which is why we go so hard now to create freedom for ourselves so we never have to worry about money again and we can focus on being the best mm-hmm. people, the best brothers, the best sisters, the best parents, the best friends, the best mentor, the best everything that we can be. That's the whole point. Once your basic needs are met, you can focus on self-actualization. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, but that's not your main point. Your main point is becoming the richest, most powerful family in America and having seven beautiful queens. You preach it every single night. It's the ad that everyone wants to skip. If everybody wanted to skip it, why would they be here and why would you be here? Check your comments. I don't read the comments. I don't listen to the haters. It's easy easy to spectate. Can I I answer Miss Shanice's question? Can I answer Miss Shanice's if, question? If you, the you didn't answer my question. Who's deflecting now? If if it's the ad you want to skip, why are you here? Because I wanted to give in my piece. Exactly my point. Go ahead. Ignorance is bliss. You will spread whatever you feel in order to gain the views and to gain the popularity. I looked at your TikTok before you guys blew up. That's how I found you. But a good month ago, you did not have more than 10K on TikTok. Your Instagram was not as great as it was. And you guys are promoting on Olivia's TikTok because she started out with all the followers. I understand. It's an advertisement move. But just just to be honest, like, don't What are we advertising? What are we advertising? Your, your relationship. You know it's entertaining. Okay, well, you know well, it's a business. Yeah. What does that do? Miss Shanice, what was your question? In regards to um, our our family dynamic, okay, you're you're worried about your main focus is emotional stability. When when people say the phrase, the catchphrase, uh, takes a village to raise a child, do you believe that? I do, I do. I was raised in a really really large family. I don't think that that's the part that people fall short on. No, no, no. no. Why exactly do you believe that? And I'm because not saying I, you're wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong. Because I, I was raised, I was raised by a village, personally. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in regards to emotional stability, if we are able to choose who comes into our dynamic, who's going to be around our children, who's going to pour into them, why right. would they not be emotional, uh, like have any emotional stability or a foundation in like I- in. I completely understand that, Shanice, and just know that I have so much respect for you, like so, so much respect for you. But I think that the women in this relationship are easily influenced, and it's really, really sad to see. I looked on your Instagram whenever you guys first popped up on my For You page, and I saw a post where you were talking about depression and anxiety and how you conquered it. And I I know it affects everybody's daily life, and it's completely normal. I don't want you to feel stigma for it at all. But again, a couple weeks ago, Sean was talking about how he doesn't believe psychology is real and you kind of piggybacked off of it. But if it's not real, why are you talking about these things that you have if it's not something you believe in? Did you believe in the tooth fairy as a kid? Yeah, because it's something my parents told believe- me to do. Yeah, you still mm-hmm. believe in the tooth fairy? No, because I was influenced. Right, so you, would say, you would say as you get older, you learn things, right? And you get more developed? Sure, but was it development exactly, or was it that's, influence? That's exactly the point. But was it development or was it influence? Bro. 
So you think that you can just be walking down the street and all of a sudden you just you just catch the depression bug? Like is is that the way you think it works? No, like, I, I think, think it's a I think the only I think the only depression that is I feel like I'm not gonna say it's not real because mental health is real, right? But I think the only depression that like people that comes on to people that they didn't put themselves kind of in that situation is postpartum depression. Okay, well, have you looked at statistics? We're going to go back to science again. Are you ready? We're going to look at statistics of how much mental illness is genetic. Most of the time, it is not our choosing. This is the yeah. same way with obesity. It's the same yeah. way yes. with a lot of things. Some of I it agree. comes from genetics. Yep. So I agree. So you don't feel like most people's problems can be, most people's depression can be cured with going to the gym on a regular basis, eating no, good food. All right, so so that's my point. So they can cure it very, very easily by going to the gym, getting good rest, having great friendships, and literally just being purpose, j driven by purpose. It's really not that hard. But it's different, it's different. And see, this is the problem, is that you like to see things from one side. Same thing with business. What, what's you, different? you believe? Not everyone can be treated with that. Some it takes medications. Some it takes. So what did, what did people do? What did people do before we had medication? How did they treat it? They drilled holes into people's heads. No, <laughs> lobotomies that worked. Did, that didn't. That Mental did not work. illness. That did are you going to say lobotomies never worked? Are you going to say lobotomies you never happened? Me, are you sitting up here telling me that lobotomy worked? No, 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 no. You <laughs> okay? I apologize. That was my misspeaking. Are you going to say lobotomies never happened? That's not what I said. I said it doesn't work. No, lobotomies did not work. But there was such a, a, a large amount of the mentally ill that that is the strategy we took to fix it. It's the same and thing with work. one side. It's the one sidedness it, that gets me. Can it, I finish my statement, please? Can I finish my statement? Go ahead. It is the same thing with your business aspect. You think that a lot of people can do this and it's not a real aspect and not everyone should be making, uh, what, 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 what's your numbers? A hundred K a month. That is not a real goal for most people in America. Poverty is a real thing that plagues our country. Okay. And what's the point? Is that it's not a realistic vision that you are getting? You're promoting. I, no, we don't ignorance. use that word around here, realistic, because like, what really is real? People can literally create the life that they want, whatever they yeah, want. Yeah, absolutely. We have so much ability. So why would you say things are realistic? There's somebody right now that just made ten million dollars, and you're gonna sit up here and say that's not realistic to make a million dollars a year. That just doesn't make sense, and it's so suppressive to our ability as human beings like we can do a lot okay like, so you people so let's let's bring this back to sean a little bit sean when you were homeless right how mm -hmm. hard was it for you by living in your car was it able were you able to just get up and go get a job the next day because homeless people i was, still, I was still in the military at the time i still had a job oh okay so that's a different aspect the homeless cannot just get up and go get a job because they have to have an address, their social security cards, an ID. Some of these things are not accessible they, for they most people. Right. They, can't, they can't do that, but what they can do is go to a gas station and ask to clean people's windows for $2. But poverty isn't a real thing. You expect somebody to live off $2. But I mean, you, if, they did, if that, they did that to 100 people, which is not very hard to do, if they did that to 100 people, that's $200. That's $6,000 a month. $6,000 a month, you save it up for a couple months, guess what? You don't have you a place and go get you a job. Mm -hmm. where are they, see, the thing is, uh, we just think totally different. I see a route that anybody can actually like mm -hmm. succeed. No, you can succeed. You listen, 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 you listen. listen. Everybody, everybody, everybody gets depressed. I've battled depression before. There's been times where I felt it, but the thing is this, you overcome it. I don't want to sit up here and say that oh, I'm just a victim and this happened and there's nothing that I can do about it. You can always do something to change your situation. That's what I'm absolutely, trying to get Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So what is going to happen whenever you are advertising what you guys are to people who want to get better, who want to make those steps, and then it is not a realistic path. 
It is. It does not work. What doesn't work? Your business strategy. What's my business strategy? Because the you, last business. What are you owner, promoting to business, people? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The last business owner that we brought on, she messaged me today and told me she sold out of all her products. So what doesn't work? Because so helping people, if you, have, if you have a great product, if you have a great product and you help people solve genuine problems, it's always going to work. Because that's the way the economy works. Right. Okay. Okay. But what I'm saying is, is most of the free game you give out is just something that you can look up on Google. You are not actually helping people. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. Like people can, but what they can't do on Google is like message me back and ask me questions and I give them like advice on it. So you're absolutely right. But that's the thing. Everything's on Google. How to pass the bar is on Google. How to be a lawyer is on Google. How to be a surgeon is on Google. Everything's yeah. on Google. If that's the case, why don't people just Google their way to becoming a multimillionaire? Because they don't know what to even search up. <laughs> See, this is this is the point. You guys, you guys don't value. You guys don't value. If listen, if Google is so important, why do you go to school? If everything because you can learn is on Google, why do you go to school? Why do you get a master's? Because intellect, like you said earlier, Sean, it is it's part of a neurological system. So here you go you with the big to, words again. You have you, to memorize. Listen, the big words may impress other people, oh but I still God. look at the concept. You have when you to wanna, memorize. No, 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 no. When you want to get a degree, when you want to learn, when you want to advance, you don't go to Google. You go learn from somebody else, yeah. which is exactly my point. No, it's the so you backwards can, of your you point. It's the, the big opposite words. of your point, actually. <laughs> You're right. Let him finish no, 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 you don't have to let me finish because at this point it's just a checkmate. You're just in denial. You're literally in denial. You are in denial. You are in denial that that this could possibly work and that your ego could not be fed anymore. It's already working though. You're here. There's 30,000 people here. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, just take me off if he is so upset. I'm, I did not Nobody's mean for upset. this to happen. So let me get this straight. Because I throw trash away, I'm upset. No, you stormed see, off in the it, middle of a conversation. See, here, listen, 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 listen. What see, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, hold, you're on. Free hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 If the girls have to ask you to go to the bathroom, your frequency is what you frequently see. You see negativity. Your projections onto us is really a reflection of how you see yourself. That's all that it From is. From someone who doesn't believe in psychology. What I think is funny is what that is you're going to get mad. That right, what on, I think on, is on, funny. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to checkmate you right now. What is the definition of science? Science, first of all, psychology is not even real. A lot of scientists don't even recognize psychology as a real science. Science is something that can be duplicated, that's repeatable, that is predictable. The thing about psychology is this. You can have two people with the same exact symptoms, the same exact problems, the same exact upbringing, and they talk to two different psychologists, and guess what? They get two different outcomes. Or they talk to a therapist, and hey, they get two totally different outcomes. They get two totally different diagnoses. Psychology, based off you said, because you believe in science, and science means something's predictable and it can be duplicated and replicated. Psychology is not that, which is why it's not even recognized as a real science. If you looked up, if you looked up the definition all right, all right. of science, here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go again. Now you're going to use I think it's words. funny how you can it. make a point. I think it's funny how you can make a point, but I can't go respond ahead. to it. Is it, ahead, is, it it. Is, it is it because I'm a girl? Is it because I'm a woman? Is it because I'm a woman? I would be anyone to want to know. See how you play Go ahead. Let's hear it. Come on. Let's hear your response. Jesus Christ, I cannot even get a word in. Hello? Oh, good God. No, stop saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry to execute it. Can you hear me? Can Why did it freeze? You can't catch it. What I want to know is why it was so backwards. I'm so sorry, my internet glitched. Why it's so backwards that the girls have to ask permission to use the bathroom before stepping off camera, but you can walk away mid-conversation with me. Is it because I'm a girl? That's what I want to know. 
Every time you give out your free game, you want to say, oh, to all my guys in here, what about the women? See, this is what you, this is what happens when you get checkmated and you didn't want to respond. Are you going to respond to the psychology question? <laughs> what was your if psychology you, question? You my wanna, internet. If you want to admit that you lost and got smoked, go ahead. But what you say I'm deflected. Answer the question. Hold on. I, I, I would love to hear your response. So you what's hear, your response to, what's you your response to psychology? Out? Can you just hear me out? I did not hear you. My internet glitched. Can you oh, okay. repeat the question? Now your internet glitched. Now your internet glitched. Okay, cool. What was your question? If I'm checkmated you in your, if I'm checkmated to you, then I'm checkmated. But if you want to repeat the question, I can answer it for you. The Listen, question is your, something what, to be what, asked. What, what's your What's your question? It's so funny because earlier you were like, I don't get a response. I don't know how you can try to articulate a response to something you didn't hear. But all right, go ahead. What's your question? I never pointed that out, not at all. I just said I did not hear your question. Oh, you, somebody put a cap on her head. Can you go through your can you go through your comments cuz it's glitched for everyone. All right, cool. What's what's your question? What was your question? I don't have one. Go ahead. <laughs> Funny cuz you just screamed at me saying that you had a question, but I didn't hear it cuz it glitched. Could you listen? Oh, here we go again. Can we stop this? Here, we here we go again. Here we go again. Hello? Yes. Hello. Hello. Are, are you good? Do you have a question to ask? I already asked my Is question. It, I said you could take me off if he's getting upset. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Have fun in your relationship. That is not going to end well. giveaway but I, I listen if i don't get in contact with her by monday then somebody else is going to be a winner so look out for that um with that being said with that being said with that being said i appreciate you guys i appreciate these intellectual debates man uh one more thing i want to say if you got a small business man you got a great product you really help people solve problems you got a physical product or even something that just can really help people please dm me so we can get you up here and help you like help other people man uh, with that being said, uh, if you guys are watching this, you got more room in your heart to hustle rather than to hate. Um, and you guys got a 100 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams, just to want the blue check. DM me free game, okay? It's my only account. I'll never ask you for money. I will never ask you for your credit card online. None, none of that, okay? So DM me on Instagram, free game, if you want to learn to make ten to $15,000 a month. It's free game. Why are we doing this? Want to help you guys, man. Um, impact your families, man. True wealth isn't about money, it's about impact on people. I've always said my legacy won't be the money I make, it'll be the people that I help, man. And I just want to help people all across the country and one day all around the world. I gotta get a passport for that one though. Uh, with that being said, with that being said, with that being said, uh, DM me if you got a 700 plus credit score, free game, okay? And I will literally teach you for free how to make 10 to $15,000 a month. Also for my guys, you want to have massive success. You don't want to make 10 to 15,000 a month, you want to learn to make 10 to 15,000 a week. If you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, mentor, and I'll personally reach out to you and see if mentorship is a great fit for you, man. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. That was weird. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys so much. You guys have a great night. Peace.